<clears throat> hey, it's me, Jompo. How you doing, everybody? I forgot to alt-tab and double-check something. Get ready for some muteness. Ah, uh, such silence. Such beauty. And now we're back in. So in case you weren't here for the first stream of this, one thing to keep in mind, generally speaking, very laid back, very comfy. Nice vibes here today. The other thing is, basically, we've made it all the way to the top of that cool tower where the, uh, I guess the end of the game is, but we need to go get some boss keys, and I think we need three of them. I remember where one is, I have an idea of where a second one is, and then the other one, I have no idea. But fortunately, we have a map, and you guys are gonna have to suffer through the fact that I absolutely do not have any idea how to control myself anymore. Uh, you know. So, uh, bear with my bad platforming for a tad. Hey, Troll Demon, how you doing? Good to see you here. I am exhausted today. Alright, my movement is still disgusting. That's great to see. Oh, god damn. Oh, it's clean. You're gonna play the new Ultra Kill update? Yeah, I saw that. You know how bummed out I am? <laughs> you know how bummed out I am that I just got P rank on violent difficulty and now they're like, yeah, but here's a new difficulty. Brutal. It's like all of the success that I just had has gone out the window and I don't feel good about myself anymore. <laughs> and yes, Stigma, I need the Chaos Emeralds to defeat Goku. I mean, what else do you really need? Who would win in a fight? Super Sonic or Goku? So in here somewhere, uh, there's a button for map specifically, I think. Yeah. So there's a room that I think... Okay, I'm on the complete opposite side, and there are a bunch of things apparently north that I haven't looked at at all. So where am I? Yeah, and 7S, that's true. And there are new weapons and stuff. There's plenty of new stuff in the in Ultra Kill. And buddy, let me tell you, I'm looking forward to playing it. The issue is just, you know, that whole uh that whole thing going on in my head of God damn it, I can't believe this. I have failed. <laughs> Fucking brutal coming out. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. Alright, there was an easy way to get up here before. I think it was the super jump thing, but I just won't do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna go through and do uh, P rank stuff for uh, for brutal difficulty, but at the same time, I do want to go back and check out some of the secret stuff and the new weapons and everything. So I'll probably end up doing some of that on stream, probably at the same time that I'm going back and trying to play through P2. It'll be like a warm up or something. But yeah, I look forward to it. Ultra Kill's just neat, so it's always fun to hop back into it and just mess around and stuff. <laughs> Killing time, I see. Yeah, that's how I feel about literally everything that I always do. I always tend to kill time and then uh, realize that I needed to perhaps not do that. There's so much more I should have been doing. Life, uh, finds a way. So let's see where we actually are on the map right now. So we're in this big room. There are a bunch of doors I haven't gone through. And then again, the one all the way on the right is where one of the big keys are. I don't know if I can do that yet, so I'm gonna explore a bit more in this area. And then we'll just see what happens, I guess. This is something I have never seen before. Yeah, Pseudo Regalia is a, uh, an indie game that's... Like, definitely not mainstream, but it was popular enough for people to be talking about it for a while. The intrigue came from, specifically, uh, the movement. Apparently, there's a ton of movement options and stuff. Which is, you know, true. I don't know why I said apparently. Now, the real question is, how the hell do I get to that bubble? So, <clears throat> what I just did was not the answer. Huh, how do I do that? Unless there is just another thing that I don't know yet. If I go... Alright. It's nice to be in a bubble, but I need to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> Where should I go? Uh... Oh, wrong button. Right, it's R2 to do the cool thing that I want to do. Yeah, warming up's still warming up, you know? There we go. And then from here... No, 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fall again. Alright, instead of guessing, maybe I should just do the things that I'm supposed to do. So let's see, nothing over there. I can definitely get up there somehow, but it looks like I have to go through that door, most likely. Getting to that thing is the uh, crazy mess that I don't understand yet. Where there's a will, there's a way. But I don't know if I have a will or a way. Hey Zenith, everything's going alright. What you're looking at is an indie game. You see, this is a uh, goat, rabbit, cat thing, and that was in quotes on the wiki. So it's just a, a movement platformer kind of game. That's all that is really going on. Nothing to strain your brain about or nothing. Just a cute little game where you run around and kill things sometimes. A lot of polygons? I wouldn't say a lot. Uh, I made a huge loop back to where I started. There was specifically... There was a way to get over to there. I'm just... I'm a bit confused by my own memory. I'm trying to remember how to get over to the places that I was before. I explored a lot of this place the first stream, but I'm trying to remember how to get back to it. Because this game is a Metroidvania type game. And I'm gonna be real. This big green blob ain't helping that much. <laughs> it looks like a GameCube game. Honestly, I think it looks a little worse than that. It's more of a PlayStation 2 kind of a thing. The GameCube was surprisingly nice looking for its time. Maybe I can get up there. Well, not if I miss. There was a piece of paper! And I'll never see it- Oh, that's what I did! I think there's a hole over here I can go inside. And I missed. Beautiful. Jompo, you're kicking ass right now. There we go. And then, uh, there was no hole. There was a door there. That's what it was. Thank you, memory. I have the mind of an elephant, because it's, uh, I, I, I can hardly speak English, and I remember some things. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Stigma! <laughs> there are no OJs here, it's not real. The OJs aren't real, they can't hurt you. This game is dark as hell, actually. Did I make that joke before? I said this game was like Dark Souls? Yeah, I'm original. This is awesome. Alright, let's see. I don't... Have I actually been in here before? Uh, maybe, maybe not? This game is very maze-like. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to experiment with. So, if I do some cool flippy things, then I can see if I can kick off of this. Which I can't do. God damn it. So I'm still not ready for this area, huh? Hmm. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no other way of dealing with this thing. Damn. Shadow the ultimate life form. You know, he's cool enough to be the ultimate life form, that's for sure. So I can't kick off of that, huh? So there must be something I am missing still. I have the wall run, which should definitely be helpful, but... Hmm. Let's go in the other room anyway. Huh, I was really expecting to be able to... Alright, I can do smart things here. There we go. Now that's some slick-ass movement. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> no, Stigma. You will never rise. Not if I have anything to say about it. OJ's too cringe. I can't let it exist. Speaking of cringe, my gameplay is sucking balls right now. I should be able to make my way up pretty high right now, due to the uh, sick wall runs that I can do. Although I don't know if I can actually complete this area, but I'm gonna give it a shot. That might be a bit too far away to do anything about. That might be too high as well. Hmm. The game looks good? Yeah, it's sweet. 
Pseudo regalia, more like pseudo lamelia. <laughs> like the meal, like because it's food related. <laughs> I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that that was supposed to be bad. Also, I hardly understand it. See that fucking key over there? I need that. I hunger for the key. But I don't know how to get it. My brain's not evolved enough for such a thing. And even if I did... ...know how to wall run, I don't know how I would get all the way over there. It's one of those things. Maybe I really am just missing something else. Hmm, but this is the farthest I've ever gotten. Obviously, I want to lower that thing by hitting the switches. <laughs> I am a god with the personality of an e-boy. Is your... <laughs> Would you say your personality is an e-boy personality? I don't know if that's accurate. Alright, so I'm still missing a power. Very unfortunate. But it looks like I'm gonna have to explore a little more, huh? Damn game. Metroidvanias really are about exploration, aren't they? You ate fried chicken earlier. I've been addicted to eating fried chicken recently. There's a wing place down the street, and I keep door dashing it at the expense of my wallet. But I can't help myself, man. Fried chicken with buffalo sauce is, is it's, it's like a god came in my mouth. It's so tasty. It's my favorite food for sure. And then they got other sauces too, so I can mix and match. And then I kick back and I watch some regular show, because I'm trying to get through that whole season, like every season and every episode. I can't help myself. And eating wings just matches so well. Because they eat wings in regular show. It's like it was made for this event. Orchid in Latin means testicles. It's true. I can't confirm it and I can't prove it, but it's definitely true. I can definitely make it up there. I just gotta not do it wrong, you know what I mean? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't have gone for that third one. <laughs> I gotta remember the timing on the kicks. There we go, that was good. What the fuck is this? Oh, what a wall. And it even goes tink, tink, tink when you hit it. Okay. There's a thing! Perish, maid. Alright, well, you didn't have to hit me. Alright, you really didn't have to hit me. I'm gonna die! If I'm up here, she can't hit me. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, I'm bad at this game. I'm getting my ass beat. Oh yeah, there's a lock on, isn't there? This is basically a mini boss. As all women are. Strike break. Hold attack until your weapon is ready. Release the strike. More powerful that locks you in place can destroy heavy barriers. I see. Hmm. What's your favorite type of food for me? That's actually a good question. I guess noodles. Generally speaking, noodles are just oh so tasty. Ramen is one of my favorite dishes, uh, especially when it's actually well-made good ramen. Like, uh, stuff you get at a restaurant. Uh, <laughs> although to be fair, good ramen over here is standard ramen over in Japan. Now that ramen kicked ass. Oh, what the fuck are you? Why you like that? C Y U I we we you we you see. Back at you, buddy. What the fuck is he saying? I think I remember where I am. If I go down here, I'm back in like the uh, pseudo regal. Yeah, this place. Castle Sansa. Jampa, what do you think of Pops from regular show? I've always liked him. I thought he was like really cute in an old man kind of a way. Good show, good show. And then he would, ah, <laughs> he'd like laugh like crazy. And he would have a big round head. He was cool. Again, I'm not done with the show. I know all the stuff that happens, and because I'm weird, even though the show ended 73 years ago, I'm not gonna go into spoilers, but... As a character, he's probably the least developed, but he's one that I like. I, I like having him around as a, as a funny little guy. 
V1's gonna fight the heart of hell? That's the idea you have? Like a literal heart? Or a conceptual heart? Alright, is there anywhere I haven't explored here? There is a gigantic area right over there. And I cannot remember what it is. Also to the left, apparently there are places that I haven't been before. Okay, let's work towards that. I think that would be this way. Beautiful, beautiful movement. <laughs> yeah, I actually, uh, I caught a lot of glimpses of regular show. I'm just re-watching it for the most part. I haven't seen all the ending stuff because honestly, I got a bit bored when they uh, went to fucking space, but... <laughs> but hopefully it'll be interesting this time that I watch it. Is this the right place? Map, guide me. Other side. All right. Hell is canonically alive. Well, that makes sense since there's all that shmeat and stuff. Right, this is why I didn't do anything here. Because everything's locked. Damn. Uh, so nothing at the end, nothing there. I can go through one of these. Was it this one? Oh, right, it's this thing. More proof I don't know what I'm doing right now. Hey, fan, how you doing? Fan, I am so sorry that every single time I send you a commission, <laughs> I say I'll send you another one in a day or two, and then it's like a week later. Bad habit of mine. Hold on, I might be able to outsmart this game real quick. Or at least sequence break or something. If I do this, and then one of these. Let me up, motherfucker. Please, please. <laughs> oh, I can actually make that. Okay. Uh, shit. I just gotta do it right. I'm pretty sure I can make it up on this thing. That last jump is killing me. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go on the wall to get over to that thing. And then from there, maybe I can do something. So if I do... There we go. Oh, hell yeah. I'm doing all right. I actually have like a throat infection or something, which is really weird. I don't know where it came from. Uh, but surprisingly, it works pretty well so long as I drink water. Speaking of... <laughs> no, they put a thing here. Yep, there we go. Sequence break. Fuck you. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm starting to get a. Uh, I'm starting to feel things right now from playing this game. This game is known for its sequence breaks. One of the main things people like to do is intentionally just do things the way you're not supposed to in this game. I could probably wall run with this again. I don't think I could wall run all the way up there, but I could probably do something else. Geometry dash reference? Not that I know of. Hey King Joe Cat, not much. I'm just trying to find where the keys are. I know I, I still can't do anything with these orbs. I need to figure out what to do with them. But right now I'm trying to sequence break to figure out what the hell's going on and maybe I can find my way to whatever allows me to actually use those. <laughs> I just want to go up. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try going that way. Fuck it. This is not going to work out. Damn. There's got to be a way. You know, I am curious, the ruler. I am pretty curious about what they're going to end up doing with the last few layers of hell. Like, would you actually fight Joe Satan himself? That's what I want to figure out. Maybe you will, but I'm pretty sure you won't. But maybe you will. Maybe you're going to fight God instead. I don't know. There's so much wacky shit going on. And so far, it's not like you're just fighting Beelzebub, you know? They're not being generic about anything, which is very nice, I gotta say. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, god damn. I just had to open my mind a little bit. 
So from here, I want to get over there. And so the uncomfortable thing is going to be whether I can actually sequence break this or not. I can probably do a long jump into... Hmm, should I aim for the wall? I don't know if I can make that. That's a pretty far jump. Yeah, I don't know if I could quite make that. Maybe with a kick, if I extended the momentum? Hmm. You sleep with the air on and that gives you the throat thing? Ah, I have my fan on. Maybe that is contributing to it. Maybe I'm just drying myself out. Oh, that was actually incredibly easy. <laughs> I'm in. Bonk. The good thing is I still have no idea where I am right now. What the hell's going on? Can someone tell me, please? Interesting. Okay, I think I could just go around. Beautiful Jompo. Beautiful Jompo. That's what I say when I look in the mirror and when I look at my gameplay. Beautiful Jompo. So, uh, what's all this shit? Probably gotta go around, I guess. God is dead. Oh yeah, God is dead, blood is fueled, all that stuff. You know what? The first line in that game really did prove me wrong, didn't it? <laughs> Maybe God died and went to hell, hmm? Maybe that's the interesting twist that they're gonna go for. Could be interesting, or it could be cringe, I don't know. I'm sure whatever they're gonna do is gonna be fun. Oh, please don't kill me, Joe. Don't kill me! Sick move, yeah! And then I hit you with this move! God damn! And then I throw it! Good. Hold on, hold on. Swing? God damn! There we go. I did the sick ass move. <laughs> God just dipped, it's proven. Probably true. I don't know anything about the lore. Uh, I am not much of a lore master when it comes to any game. So anyone who even reads like one page of the wiki knows like infinitely more knowledge than I do. For me, Ultra Kill's about shooting people, not about reading things. And you know, I am an American, so I guess that checks out. <laughs> yeah, the sword throw is specifically, from what I can tell, for kicking. Although it is a little uncomfortable to do. There we go. Beautiful. It goes ding dong and then kills things and sends them to hell. When was this made? I think this was made... This only came out a few years ago. It just has that PlayStation 2 aesthetic. But it's a relatively recent game, I think. 2023, indeed. New coin tech? I'm sure I'll figure that out when I actually start playing the game. But I gotta say, right now, I'll just say this out of the way. <clears throat> For Ultra Kill, I consider uh, mechanical things, like uh, explaining changes and stuff that happen in the game, like what the guns do and stuff, to be uh, somewhat spoilers. Because it's so cool to figure out what it actually does and then experiment with it yourself. So please no spoilers when it comes to ultra kill moves and stuff. I've been intentionally trying to avoid seeing what the guns do. What the hell was the point of doing this? What, what, what was the point? Why did I do it? Did it open? It opened this one. I'm so in. Regalia means the emblems are in... Stop saying that, CIA. Shut the fuck up. I play Obby Creator and TSBG. I don't know what either of those are. Obby Creator. I did it! I got a... This is one of the ones that I didn't know. Hell yeah. Get fucked, dumb dumb. I'm now rich as hell. And there's a... <gasps> Hold on. Turn that off. Would I even be able to do this if I don't have the black orb power? How many are there? Nine? I guess I can give it a shot. 
you know, without whiffing that twice. So if I do this, and then... I'm... Do you just touch it, or... Oh, that's the problem. I need to just touch it. Alright, let's restart this again. You see, if I do the diamond thing right, I get an outfit. I'm surprised I'm not able to go on that. Like a wall ride? I guess if I do it like this? Interesting. Okay. If I do that, can I even make it over to there? Maybe I should do it from there and work my way up? So if I do... Yeah, that angle I don't think will really work. Hmm. So how else would I do this? I could probably do jumps back and forth pretty well here. I may even be able to do wall rides back and forth. How else would I go about doing this? I think I need the black orbs. I can experiment a bit more though. Well, that didn't work how I wanted it to. There we go. But yeah, that's still too far, huh? Damn! This game taunts me with shit. I want nothing more than to get this outfit. Depression fills my soul. I'll keep it in mind, though. Another outfit would be nice to have. <laughs> The ruler you dare speak down to me, Jompo. This game isn't about being good for me. It's about, uh, running around and hitting things. Besides, I'm trying to sequence break stuff. I don't have whatever that power is yet. And I still don't know where to get it. But at least I know I can come back. It looks like there is a... There is a path over to the left, bottom left, that I haven't gone to yet. Let's check that out real quick. So if I go back in here, and then all the way to the end, then where was it from here? It was to my right, and then to my right again. Just making sure. Yeah, so down here, and then continue through. So up there? I didn't need a kick. Woofy Jumpo. Know your limits. Oh, I got... It's a health thing. Wait. No, it isn't. What is it? Oh, more power? Wait. I actually have no idea what that is. But at least I solved that. Alright, good news. We got a key. Bad news. I still don't know how to do black orb challenge stuff for the other key. So I still have to find wherever that power is. This map really is nice and helpful. I would have been lost forever when this game first came out. It didn't have a map all the time. This is a newer addition. People talk about which is better, Ultra Killer Doom Eternal. Personally, I think Doom Eternal has a lot of options, but they don't go together super well. I think I think the way that you kill enemies in in Doom Eternal is a bit too like the word isn't forced, but like, every time you see one of the big floating head guys, you gotta throw a grenade at him. Like, otherwise you're just wasting ammo. But Ultra Kill's a bit more freeform. And so personally, I'm a bigger fan of Ultra Kill. I didn't, I didn't beat Doom Eternal. I got bored halfway through. Although I think Doom 2016, the one before it, was better. That's the thing. Damien, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what the black orbs do. There might be a double jump kind of ability. Maybe it's something where you interact with the black orb specifically. But I need to find my way to it because I have no idea. It's got to be somewhere. I just got to figure out where to go for it. Man, I'm not doing these jumps at the right time. You got to delay way more. Yeah, there we go. You know what? Fuck you. I'm knocking you down. That'll make things easier in the future. Uh, so let's see. I could go back the way I came. I could also go to the underbelly through the other- Let's go to the underbelly again. Let's go through this way. First I save. Then I go. Ultra Kill is better for the modern age because the player base has ADHD. Honestly, <laughs> not a bad argument by any means. Agreeable, even. 
Personally, though, I just think it, it feels better to play. It's so, like, free and loose, and you can kind of just play however you want. Like, if you're going for score or time or anything like that, you definitely have to do certain things in order to make things really work well. But... I, I personally just like how, how free it is to be able to move around and do stuff. It's kind of like why I like playing this game. I really like being able to just look at a jump and being like, all right, how do I get up there? So I could do a jump or I could do a wall kick to get up there or I could do a high jump or I could do a long jump or I could do a wall ride. Giving me a million options and then saying, all right, pick the best one, you dumb bitch. I like that kind of thing. Ah, very pleasant. So we're back here. I'm personally just going to assume that I am making a mistake. That I should probably be able to get where I want to get. Wait a second. You can store this shit. That's crazy. That just popped into my head one second ago. No fucking way. That's awesome. And then I hit the dive down and send myself to hell button. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so you can store bubbles. That's fucking rad. Okay, I didn't know that. You also gotta like hit the thing that you wanna hit. So like just if you guys are interested, you know, that was just an I was just showing off what you would do wrong if you wanted to do it wrong. But if you want to do it right. I have no idea how I fucking missed that a second time. All right, this time, I won't be stupid. Because I can wall run. Very cool. <laughs> that makes sense. It does. It does. Jumpo always speaks sense. So much sense you're about to make dollars, fellas. All right, cool. So I'm finally in a new area. And there's even... One of these guys. And I don't- I also don't know what to do about them. They hit you, but they only kind of move around. So I don't know if there's like a magic ability or something that you need for them. Quick check. Uh, so this is just a hallway. Okay, cool. Mysteries around every corner. Yeah. A 500 word essay on what not to do at a stoplight. And a new save spot, huh? Cool, so things are really opening up. They even have a whole key thing that I can't open because I don't have a key. Alright, sweet. So I can go that way. I can also wall run that way. Damn, that's gorgeous. Now when you pull things off, it feels good. Oh yeah, I can... Cancel my kicks with an attack. That would help me from kicking on accident. <laughs> Hello, John Posumer. What an interesting name you have. <laughs> you are exactly 34 minutes late. Let me up. Okay, that is a lot smarter. I need to start doing that more often. All right, brought down enough for me to do something on. So cute this game is. Layad! Come back! You know, because of the color, I thought it was just a normal wall. I was gonna try to slide under it. No! Stop lagging! Hopefully it's not on... No, it looks like it's not on... Hmm. Oh, you can just crouch. Oh. <laughs> right, you don't have to slide. You can just crouch. What is something you never told your parents? If I didn't tell my parents, I'm not telling you. Hey, I'm up here, finally. I never told my parents that uh, I, Jompo, am very cool. What is something I never told my parents? It's actually a good question. I'm pretty open and friendly with my parents. I tell them basically everything. 
<laughs> I don't know, probably some of the weirder uh, senses of humor and stuff that I have. But that's all. I can't think of anything else. I'm just not wise enough. So that opens something over there, so I can make my way up to it. This game really is dark. You were the Reaper guy from the Omori stream talking about loving salami, but I changed my name because of that debate on what you should call us. Mmm. I remember Reaper. Yeah. Talking about salami. Don't you mean cheese? <laughs> Weren't you were the cheese guy, right? You're saying salami, but it was cheese. I remember things. It seems like the kind of platformer you play in the afternoon. This is a very... I, I feel like this is a very cozy game. It's like engaging enough because of the movement. For sure. But at the same time, it's, it's comfy because there's not really a terrible fail state to hit at any point. I mean, you can die, but I haven't died. The enemies aren't very tough, it's mostly just platforming and falling. And that's what makes it so nice. <laughs> you guys are not the OJs, that's not true. Take this, yeah. Uh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, hold on, I can do it, it's cool. Yeah. Hold on, guy. Hi, wait. hi -ya! I hit it the wrong way, but watch this. God damn! And now I'm gonna do it again! God damn! Now I'm gonna do it a third time! God damn! It even clears him out so he doesn't go into his sword form afterwards. That's pretty nice. Oh, you have a charge move. Very cute. Four OJs in cha chat? No, actually, did you know there are no OJs in chat? There's not a single one? <laughs> yeah, lag spike's gonna happen every once in a while. That's just the power of Xfinity. Can I have my weapon back, ma'am? Thank you. You know what? That counts. Whew. I bet you can't take one more of the- You bitch. Now what is this thing? Nothing? 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 Alright, well, I I don't know what that is. <laughs> King Pineapple the OJ, you may be an OJ, but that's only because you like orange juice. It has nothing to do with me. See? V1's got it straight. V1's just V1. He don't need no labels. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Hmm. Cheese guy's someone else? Damn it, I'm sorry. Fuck. I do remember Reaper and I do remember Cheese, and I'm sorry that I have crossed synapses with some random guy that isn't you. I'll have to recheck. I can always go back and watch my stuff over again. <laughs> I I am terrible with names, and I try my best to remember you guys. <laughs> it is suffering for poor Jompo. There's a there's a jump cancel move, isn't there? It was a. Uh... There is a jump cancel. Where is it? It wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Where? I swear to God, brain. Work with me. My sword! Was it that I have to face the opposite direction? Mmm. I'm about to lose my mind. Alright, well, it's somewhere. I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> Mmm, the guy who eats salami in the middle of the night is a snack, just like me. I see, I see. My sincerest condolences and apologies. <laughs> Skill issue. An overconsumption of Jampo ain't real. Now that's, that's made up. 
Please, Lord, have mercy. I still have no idea where I'm going in this game. But I'm sure I can make it somewhere. Uh, cool darkness going this way. It's not like I just made a stupid giant loop or anything, right? I haven't been here. Please, I haven't been here. <laughs> Alright, I haven't been here. And so far, it doesn't look like I've missed any optional stuff. Sweet! I'm kicking ass! Turns out I'm playing this game perfectly right now. Speaking of, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, I'm gonna do two things. Number one, I'm gonna change my clothes. Hmm, nah. Let's do, uh... So I got big pants, basic vest. Wait, what's the difference between cling sleeve and basic vest? Oh, it's just the armor. Sun greaves. Big pants. Oh, it's just, do I want to have one sleeve on? Fuck it, I'm going professional. Kawaii. <laughs> Hello, Toby and Emily Studios. So let's see, what do I actually do here? So I definitely want to make my way up. I could probably just go through here, but I could also jump my way up. Check here first, see what's what. So definitely more up. And then this, which goes to here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a little lost on where I am right now. There's a thing. That's always good. Health. And then uh, there's uh, a more... More thing. Alright, game, you're throwing too much at me right now. Where am I going right now? So there's the big thing that you can go up. But do I actually want to go up? I'll keep it in mind, I guess. I think this is the way it wants me to... Fuck it, I'm going up. I want to go up. You probably circle back, but I want to go up. Alright, you bastard. You know that was against the rules. My animation was still going. I couldn't jump. It was illegal. And... Beautiful. Jumpa, what do you think of paper as a food? I think it lacks nutritional value. Perhaps it can let you live, but... There's more to life than just living. After all, you need protein. Can I even actually go up? Is there something I can jump on? I can probably do... One of these into this. Yeah, there we go. See, that was cool. I'm cool. I'm smart. I'm good at games. Fucking orbs. I ain't touching you because I don't know how you work. Unless. Ascendant light. Attack objects and enemies to bounce off of them. Also, you can now see in the dark. <laughs> Hell yeah. Guess what I just got, fellas. I got the thing. I got the ting thing. Look at this! Look at that! See that? Pretty cool! Watch this! God damn! Just like that, I kicked ass! Yeah, this game is on Steam. Although now I am a little more lost since I did the whole, like, uh, small sequence break kind of a thing. Nah, whatever. I got places to go and people to see. Jumps to fail. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go up. What the fuck? I didn't see that. That didn't happen. Woo! Okay, there we go. Slick. People shipped Omori and Jompo, and now they have a nickname for <laughs> of supporters. Uh, that would be disgusting. Don't do that! Ah, a light. And thus I have escaped hell. Although, I will want to go back. This is true. In fact, I don't... I don't even see where I am on the map. Hello? What the hell was that? It's a stalagmite. And then a big jump down. Okay. So, hold on. 
Alright, I want to go back to hell. But maybe I'll go back the... This way? Through one of these? Sort of circle back? The reason I'm thinking is because it'll put me closer to the room that'll actually allow me to do the things that I gotta do. For the big funny key. Right, you attack this. There we go. Oh my god, I can finally do things. I feel so powerful now. Although again, I still don't know where I... Oh, I'm just somewhere completely different. Didn't realize I was bottom left. Joe Mori. <laughs> Joe Mori is what I planned on calling Omori. Uh, in my first Omori stream, since it ended early, I was going to play through it over again so I would make sure nobody missed anything. And I was going to rename uh, the Jompo version of Omori to Joe Mori, but that joke never played out, so I never got to say it. There's some behind the scenes thinky thoughts of my brain that you guys can finally hear. You're welcome, for one. You know, this is a nice little area. Nice relaxing jaunt through a horrible dungeon. Where people die and get killed and beaten and killed. Where is this taking me? And... You have a hidden camera in your house? It's not hidden, buddy. I know it's there. The show I've been giving you has been intentional. So now I'm over here, huh? What the hell is this? I've just never been anywhere, apparently. But I think this has one of the keys that I'm looking for, actually. Yeah, that worked out. <laughs> Alright, so I know where one of the keys are, and then I have one other key that I... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know where everything is. I just need to get to it. That's what it is. Okay, you hold the button and then you hit X. That's what it was. I was looking for that for a million years! Is your doorknob still broken? That's actually a good question. <laughs> no, when I locked myself outside and I bashed my doorknob with a hammer to break back into my own house, uh, I replaced it. I, <laughs> I, I learned how to take a lock apart for real and also put it together. And so now I have evolved as a handyman. And I also have a doorknob that is installed upside down because I don't have the right tool to put it in the right way. And that's really annoying. But at least it works. Okay, so I made it all the way back here. That's nothing crazy. But that means if I work my way back up to the underbelly this way, I should put myself pretty close to the uh, room that I want to be in. Just... Come on, goat. Let me up. <laughs> ah, secret camera in the secret camera I don't know about. Mm, you're right, I didn't know about that. But is it so secret now that I know about it? Hmm, <laughs> didn't think so. Where am I going again? Well, I need to take my sweater off. Oh, it's too hot. My beautiful computer when I'm playing a game just heats up to a million degrees. Oh, it warms my whole room. Ha, huh, beautiful. Do what I do and be the sketchy guy with the lock picking kit everywhere just in case you get locked out. Hello, this is the lock picking lawyer. Yeah, the uh honestly, lock picking it it unironically seems like it's pretty fun. It's like solving a little cool puzzle. Am I going the right way still? I am. I need to go that way, I think. I missed But yeah, locking myself out was nice. It was a fun experience, you know. 2 a.m., can't call anyone because I don't have my phone, can't get back inside because I don't have my keys, can't drive anywhere because I don't have my wallet. All I wanted to do was throw out some trash, bro. <laughs> but all said and done, it is fixed. We're now healthy. Is this the right one? No, I went to the wrong door. So back this way. Lord have mercy, I always die. And I'm in! <laughs> I'm going to miss Matt Pat. Never watched him, but I know what everyone says. 
that I sound like him. It was this door the whole time, everybody. To the underbelly to get the next boss key. And then I believe there's one more after that. Oh, didn't realize that was a ledge. I will break into Jumpo's house and force him to recognize the OJs. You will not. If you try, you will perish. <laughs> You're Jumpo, you never die. That's actually a great point. I didn't think about it like that. Sometimes I forget I'm immortal. Speaking of immortal, we really gotta make these jumps so I can uh, embrace the fact that I'm immortal. Please! I'm trying to go too fast and it's making me go slow. There we go. All you gotta do is do it right. <laughs> I did play Ratchet and Clank once. I did. It's all canon. Alright, so from here, the way I gotta go is... Fuck! I should've just turned left! Oh, I'm a dumbass. And thus, I've wasted a bunch of time. Well, back we go. So it was just uh, over here and then to the right instead, I think it was. Yeah, so go through this door and then to the right. And that should solve everything. What? That game yesterday, wait, yesterday, but that day, it was very weird. Vitor, you gotta use your words, like accurate words. Ones that aren't whatever you just said. <laughs> Which game are you talking about? Also, yeah. No spam, please. So make sure you put everything in uh, one nice little cute little uh, chat box. It's annoying for the other viewers, that's all. <laughs> Vitor, I'm going to ignore you if you don't use words like Monday or Sunday or whatever. <laughs> you gotta understand, I have no idea which one you're talking about. All right, so now that I have this cool black orb ability, that I forget how to use sometimes. I'm fucking stupid. I'm healing. I have completely transformers devastation 100%. Interesting. Oh, completed. Yeah, I read that wrong. Congratulations, don't know anything about that. Vitor, you're really hitting me with the I have no idea what I'm talking about, but trust me, it's that one thing. God damn, I'm good! And thus I have summoned the steel cage. Finally, I get to wrestle. So I gotta jump on top of that, I guess. And then I should be able to make it to the other one. <laughs> Vitor, keep the uh keep the smashing the enter button a little more limited, please. Jampo would be a good voice actor. People have said that here and there. I appreciate it. Do I agree? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what character would sound like me. I've always liked the idea. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I don't know. I've never seen a character that where I was like, yeah, I, I bet I could do a good voice for that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, John Sanders. Actually, hold on, John Sanders. Let me do a thing real quick. This is the first time I saw your name, so I either missed you a couple of times, or YouTube is filtering you because I was on Top Chat specifically. Top Chat's really bizarre, and it swaps back and forth sometimes. <laughs> Vitor, I will tell you one last time. I know you're the OG, you know, you're the, you're the number one guy who was here the first before everyone else, but I will inform you. Just, just type things in one, in one chat box and hit enter. And this is the warning, and thus, do, please do not make my boy Stigma hit you with the, the timeout for a few minutes, please. I don't want to do that to you. Of all people, not you, Vitor. 
I will cry on stream. <laughs> Jumpo makes a mean muscle man. How the fuck do I get over here? I must learn. So I made this whole cage thing come up. Am I like losing my mind? Is there something else I can do with the cage? Besides just jumping into the dirt below it? Alright, let's think with our brains a little more. Not used to doing this, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's activate that old noggin. So it's beautiful that I can go up here. Even more beautiful that I can't make this jump. <laughs> but how would I get all the way over to that? Is my real question. I could... With the slanted walls, maybe I could do a wall-to-wall-to-wall-to-wall -to -wall -to -wall ride. But I don't think that would give me enough height. This is probably enough to be able to make it when that thing's actually up, but... Hmm... Can you put a filter on perfection? You can. You can! Let's see. If you hit another lever, you will summon Exodia. <laughs> I know you meant lever, but I like... <laughs> I like the implication about hitting another lever. I must sacrifice my wife in order to summon Exodia. I'd do it. You're liking the vibe of the game? Yeah, this game's cute! I like it. It's nice, it's pleasant, it's got some nice, uh... Relaxed beats. It's a good game, just overall. Yeah. Definitely not high enough. Not even close to high enough. Fuck, man. So I'm still missing one. The long jump do just doesn't seem to be enough to actually get to it, though. <laughs> Shit, man. I want that big fucking key! It's looking at me! Dead in the eyes. Take this! Wait, this! Well, that's not good. <laughs> Jumpo, do you like rhythm games? Uh, actually, fair question. The answer is honestly, not really, but mostly because I'm so bad at them. <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting into rhythm games, but I'm like the guy that would play rhythm games on easy and still get like an 80% accuracy. It's not that I have no rhythm, but I always feel like it's, I don't know. It's like the things come at me too fast. And for some reason I just, it, like I see double of every note. Damn this puzzle game. I can't imagine I'm actually missing out on something still. Unless I can do like a... No, that's... Wait! Mom! And now I'm down here again. <laughs> I liked Friday Night Funkin' because it was a Newgrounds game. <laughs> I like uh, Phantom Arcade. I think he's cool. Although again, I'm not good at it by any means. And I actually do not like how the game is laid out in terms of hitting all the different directions on the uh, the keyboard. I think mods fix that, but at least base game. Everything comes out too fast when you're around, Jombo. Good to hear. I know I have that effect on people. You can hold it in a little bit though, buddy. <laughs> his art style's pretty fun. Yeah, his sense of humor is good too. It's funny because the- the- I'm coming back to this room. I- I don't know what to do yet. There's either something I'm missing or I'm just gonna have to be smarter in the future. Un- wait. My brain. Could I do a thing? I've suddenly come up with this crazy idea in my head. Where's- where's the main room that I was in? The one that's- is it in here? Sorry, I'm not going to explain it because this is epic. Yeah, uh, Phantom Arcade, if you've seen him on, uh... If you've watched him feature on Oni Plays, his sense of humor is great. I've always loved the Newgrounds type humor. It really is the thing that I grew up on. And so I just love when people have that sort of like, edgy but in a very clearly comedic way. Kind of humor. Alright fellas. So here's my plan, and I don't know if this is gonna work, but 
Do you think I can store this bubble all the way back to that room? Can I not? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I felt like I was going to be so smart. Unless you can platform all the way back. I guess when you touch the floor. Damn. Fuck, and here I thought I had a good idea. Shit! There's no bubble in that other room, though. Fuck, that was like my best idea. So you're decent at four Keybinds Rhythm games. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad at it. I'm, I'm bad. No matter what, I'm bad. You played Rhythm Heaven and, and streamed it to some friends on Discord. Very bad at the game, but very fun. Uh, I remember playing Rhythm Heaven at my friend's house on the Wii. Uh, and I was absolutely destroying his rhythm score for one of those, like, challenge ones. I think it was just one where it goes, da, 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 da. And that was the whole thing. Like, and you just have to time the four beats to whatever ever the rhythm was. It was one of them challenge ones. And you see how much you can do as it gets faster and faster. And, uh, I was destroying it, but I was also, like, a night Like, I was using that Wiimote like I was a degenerate. And that was awesome. And that's my entire experience with it. <laughs> but it was cool. Yeah, fan, you're... You do stuff on Newgrounds. Like, for me, it, it feels like anytime I think, oh yeah, who would who would be aware of Newgrounds type stuff? I think, oh yeah, Fan has a Newgrounds page. Fan's probably aware of that. Not that I talk about it often, or I think about it that often, but Friday Night Funkin', if I was a gambling man, I would have said that you would you would like it. <laughs> Just because of your art style and everything. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, I'm going around. Okay. Ah, Osu. Now that's one I'm particularly awful at. Although I might be better at this point now that I actually have a tablet. I don't think I've ever climbed this thing. Hey! Health! Not bad. And now I'm a drummer, which is great rhythm game in itself. Interesting. I tried learning the drums once, but I was like 10 years old and really lazy, and I didn't want to do anything besides go... Anything tougher was out of my uh, comfort zone, and so I never uh, went out of there. But being a drummer is cool. <laughs> you can full clear Witty. Isn't Witty the, uh, like the original Witty? I'm pretty sure that's like stupid tough. That's one of those ones that I wouldn't even try. It's just out of my comfort. Uh, that's, that's too much. I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> you wish you had a piano? Pianos are surprisingly not the most expensive thing in the world. You can get a cheap one for like $50 or something. Well, 50 USD. And that's speaking specifically from the American perspective, so. Alright, so what I'm looking for right now is I know there's another room somewhere around here where there's like a place where you have to wall run to get further. I just don't know where exactly that actually is. Castle Sansa. I could go. Wait a second. That way, that way, that way. Maybe I should go back to that. You know what? Top left. Top left looks like an option. Let's do that. Let's remind myself whatever I'm doing over there. You play drums too. It's a bit easier than piano though. Maybe. I don't know. It's always a bit... Uh, comparing instruments always seems like it's a bit tough. Right? Maybe you already have, like, sick rhythm and stuff, and that's why it feels easier. Or maybe it is just easier. Or maybe you're just better with your hands than your fingers. Where am I going again? The wrong way is where I'm going. Very nice. <laughs> I wanted to go up left. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. My Discord. Yeah, the Discord's gonna have to happen. I mean, I hit fucking 5k. I gotta celebrate it somehow, right? Just, you know, I work and shit, so... <laughs> sometimes I'm... I, the last thing on my mind sometimes is that I'm making a Discord. So just keep that... Just, just understand, please. Please. Am I going the right way? My brain says yes. I am! Alright, and I want to go left. So over there. Up there. And now that I can do a wall run, this is easy. Ah, shit. 
I told you it was easy, baby. Just like this. Much better. Hmm, <laughs> Jompo, what's your profession? I can explain that. Very simple. Uh, I am a software engineer. Right now I am a programmer. Very cool, right? It's very boring. The stuff I do is not interesting at all. <laughs> but it pays the bills. And more. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of stuff on this YouTube channel if I didn't have a job that paid me decently. Oh, I can do this. This is not very tough. Up here, then just kick to either side. And then just hit a bunch of buttons for no reason. <laughs> I don't understand the fact that you work and you need to take breaks. I'm sorry. The Discord, I swear the Discord will come soon enough. <laughs> what do you even do on the job? That stuff that I won't explain. You may only know so much about Jompo. Everything else must remain a secret. Now another question, do you like fighting games? I do! Actually right now, uh... Tekken 8 was a lot of fun. For some reason I'm not feeling compelled to play more of it though. For some reason. Uh, I actually have... Uh, off-stream recordings of me ranking up in there. But... I just can't figure out how to present it in a way that I liked, so I haven't released it. I could always just release the raw VOD, but I don't- I was sick during the- the gameplay, so I was thinking of doing like some ADR re-recording stuff. But it's just, you know. <laughs> also, Undernight Inbirth, I just recently bought. I'm gonna be playing that with my dear friends. And then, um... Uh, yeah, I- I try to play all of them. I tend to gravitate more towards anime fighters. I just think they're more fun. I like the freedom. Melty Blood's probably one of the ones I like the most. And I know it's not an anime fighter, but Tekken's probably my favorite fighting game. <laughs> actually, you might be surprised, but I think programming's actually very easy to pick up. At least for me, I was always a very like logic driven person and I've always been school smart as well. So for me, programming came pretty naturally. I was good at math and stuff. But along with that, you can find uh, textbooks online. And you can either buy them for cheap, or you can just find a PDF. Oh, healing power went up. That's awesome. And, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, my, uh, basically, you can get through computer science 1 and 2, like the college courses plus whatever the next one would be, just by reading through one easy enough textbook. I need to drink some water, my throat's killing me. Do you like the 2D type of fighting games, like Smash Bros and Rivals of Aether and Brawlhalla? I like Rivals of Aether, specifically with mods, because it's fun. But generally speaking, the type of, uh... Party fighter, I guess? I'm not entirely sure what to call him. Platform fighter, I think it might be. I, I've never been a huge fan. I, I'm not a big fan of Smash Brothers, honestly. But I'm also not a Nintendo fan, so I hold no nostalgia for almost any of it. I'm in a new place, but I'm not really getting much out of it. Skullgirls is cool. I like that one a lot. I basically only like playing as Peacock. <laughs> Peacock is my favorite character in Skullgirls, and everyone else feels uncomfortable by comparison. Let's do, uh, yeah, this. I'll just make my way up nice and slow. Uh, slow, I said! I said slow, not fail. Yeah, I know, Stigma. But yeah, if you wanted to, like, if you really wanted to become a programmer, you could be totally good, like, better than a lot of people that are professionals just by reading some stuff. Fuck, I double tapped. That really sucks. There's one game, uh, game. There's one book called, what is it? The... Ah, shit. I can't believe I forgot. Hold on, I need to Google this. It's important to me. Uh, C-sharp textbook game. Not that one, not that one, not that one. It's not actually about game development, but it has the word game in it. 
Come on, come on. Surely I can find this. I think that's what it was. I think it was the C-Sharp Player's Guide. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was the C-Sharp Player's Guide. That's what it was. <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever wanted to learn C-Sharp well enough to be able to say basically you have the equivalent of like three classes worth of knowledge. Like three college classes worth of knowledge. You just read that book. It's real simple. They give you all of the free things that you need to know about. And there you go. That's what I did. Really showed off. Everyone thought I was cool. I was smart. Everyone was impressed by what I could do, even though I didn't major in programming. And I was able to transition into a programming job from a more, uh, well, non-programming job. <laughs> Which was very cool. I think there's a limit to how many times you can do a wall run. Hmm. I'm glad you hate me, fan. Umbrella? Umbrella was... Wait, the adult one or the kid one? I don't remember the names very well. Let me up! Let me up! Let me up! I ran out of runs. Damn it! There's five editions, apparently. Yeah, most recent one is the most correct one. The kid one. Ah, I haven't played since that update. Actually, so I don't actually know anything about that character. Could be cool. Jumpo, read my suggestion for a game above. Alright, I'll alt tab and scroll up just for you, buddy. Jump if you like anime fighters in games like Super Smash Brothers, you recommend Jump Force Mugen. Absolutely not even close. I refuse to play Jump Force games. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not a fan. What can I say? I do like anime fighters, but I'm gonna be honest. Jump Force type stuff has always not been my jam. When I say anime fighters, I mean more because they are wacky and weird and stuff. Fuck, I know I can do this. I'm gonna explode and shit. Hold on, I can do it. You know what? I'll make this easier. <laughs> Don't worry, Damien. It's because of my voice, of course. My alluring voice. We all know, we're all Jompo consumers. Let me up! Let me up! I'm fucking sick! God damn! Someday, I will challenge you. Well, I can wall jump multiple times. I was just trying to figure out the angle, exactly. Because while I could, it wouldn't get me high enough. So I needed to do more, uh, more of these. But I ran out of charges, so I needed to get the right angle and yada yada blah blah blah. Yep, yep, yep. All that cringe. You know what I mean. Now the real question is, why did I do any of that? And don't worry, fan. One day, I will kill you, not in real life, but in fighting games. You'll see just how annoying I am. <laughs> because I'm spammy as shit. My friend always, uh, whenever we start playing a new fighting game together, he always lets out a big sigh when I pick whatever character I pick, because I always find out how to cheese him real hard. And that makes me smile. So let's see, I'm gonna lose my spot here, but I can probably work my way back up. Knock knock! No one's there. You may ask me a question, Ruler. You don't even have to preface it with having a question. Hasn't Mario 64 taught you anything about wall jumping? It did, it did. But this wall jump's different. Hmm. Okay, so there's stuff over there. Then there's stuff over here. I don't believe I've ever been here either. Yeah, okay. So I've never been here either. I'll go this way. Save point. I'm glad I came this way. <laughs> You're gonna like bombs? Fuck you. You're gonna eat my bombs. I'm going to spit so much bullshit at you as Peacock. <laughs> Watch, fuck. Mom! <laughs> this is what I actually wanted to do. No, I wanted to actually run off of it. Not that. And then I just did that for fun, all right? That one was for fun. Oh no, I made a mistake. All right, technically, I'm still alive, but not for long. I can do this. <laughs> Who do you think is Godzilla's strongest enemy? Isn't it always Ghidorah? Isn't that like the classic? Mr. Three-Head Dragon? I think that's how you say his name. 
<laughs> Umbrella's a bit of a counter pick. Well, I don't actually know enough to be good at Skullgirls, so... <laughs> if you are in any way decent at the game, you have already counterpicked me. Oh, I was out at wall kicks. Shit. Yeah, you only get three wall kicks. I need to be... I can probably make it without worrying about that. Hmm. Or I could just be silly and go the normal way. <laughs> oh, sorry, Toby. I didn't see that your freezer broke. <laughs> you alright? Alright, I'm sucking balls right now. I have a better idea. So if I do that over uh, this way, and not not like that, not like, huh, huh, uh, when I play poorly, it hurts my soul. I gotta go hit a save point or I'm gonna die. So maybe I will just go the normal way. <laughs> Wednesday streams are very relaxed. I'm glad you like them. I know they're different because I just blab about whatever, but I I can't keep the energy up. <laughs> Whoops. After a day of work and everything, I'm just I'm too tired to be all excited and everything. I'm old, I guess, you know, just some old bitch. <laughs> Do you put bath bombs in your freezer? Ain't that a question? Fuck! Wait, this is a circle! I'm back where I started! Damn it! <laughs> now I gotta go back. I just went through the other door, I guess. Alright, alright! At least that crosses that off the- No! Oh no. I'm bad. <laughs> Give me that. Alright, I can make it back. Is there any story or is this just a game about a goat lady with large hips who moves very fast through a castle? That is exactly what it is. Um... I think my character is the princess and I'm gathering keys to defeat the person who like stole the throne or something. I think that's the concept. But it's mostly just an excuse to platform around. All right, there we go. Why up? There we go. Cool, I did it. Wonderful, beautiful even. Dare I say I'm a genius? Speaking of, there's a thing up there. <laughs> Your secret camera caught me with my walking stick? You're not supposed to know how old I am. It's against the rules. I'm 74 years old, by the way. Beautiful. God damn. I'm kicking ass. <laughs> Alright, so now from here, I should be able to do something else in order to go to another place. But you know what else is gonna be something that I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I gotta pee so bad, bro. I've been sipping so much water to help my throat from dying. So I'm gonna unpause. I'm gonna do this. So now you can look at her. And then I'm gonna alt tab. And I'll be right back. <laughs> I gotta blast my porcelain. Give me one second, fellas. Let me... Uh, where's my mouse? There it is.
I'm so back. From one type of stream to another, am I right, fellas? Also, Spirals, I am not gonna speedrun this game. I'm not much of a speedrunner, honestly. <laughs> I don't think I have the patience to be a speedrunner. Ah, fuck. I messed up. So, I do it like this. Sick flip! Wall run! Wall run! Wall kick! Wall kick! Wall kick! And just like that, I made it up. No problem. Oh, this is a weird place. Huh. Never been here before. And there are other doors I still haven't been through either. Interesting. Twilight Feeder, huh? Interesting. <laughs> no piss cam. No piss cam. I don't want to get banned or nothing. So there are all these little dudes, and no one wants to talk to me. Oh, except you. I heard that the theater was still in good condition, but it seems even this place has been affected. By what? Can I buy tickets? Ah, nuts. I really wanted to see the show today. Sorry, miss. Can't let you in. Theater's closed until all the haze is gone. All the who now? All the haze? I'm breaking in. Uh, unless you literally can't break in. Yeah, that'll... That'll do it. Maybe this is like a post-game thing. Noted. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'd be fucking furious if I was trying to speedrun certain games. There's... There's no fun for me in a lot of these things. It just makes me angry. I don't mind going for a score, necessarily. But once I try to actually speedrun to like a respectable degree, I would get upset. It's just how I am. I, it loses the fun for me. I once tried to speedrun a Shantae game. That's when I learned that speedruns are not for me. Yeah, I, I don't remember what game I was trying to play. But basically I was just trying to go faster and faster and I was getting so fucking livid. I was absolutely furious about everything I was doing. And you know what? If it ain't fun, why play it? What does pseudo regalia mean? Alright, CIA, are you here? This is literally his calling. <laughs> uh, I just circled back up? Well, damn, that's actually really fucking useless. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go back around. Jumpo, parkour legend, you're damn right. I'm kind of incredible at everything I do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> wall kick, wall kick. Do that one for momentum, and I have thus killed myself. <laughs> Alright, there's a smart way of doing this. That just wasn't it. Alright, I'll try my best to define what pseudo regalia means. Uh, because I, I'm gonna be honest. I never read whatever CIA says whenever they say what pseudo regalia means. Uh, I think what it means is a crown of sorts for royalty. And yes, we did get a new mod. Stigma is here to protect us from ourselves. And it's much appreciated. He times someone out once you know. Maybe even twice. Maybe I just didn't know about it. Alright, with all of that being said. So there is nothing more that I am not aware of. And fuck. Well, now I don't know where to go. Um. Hmm. Yep, I don't know. Ah, it feels good to be lost. <laughs> Fuck. Yep. R ruler. The ruler. You can't ask me what the game is called. It's in the title. The ruler. It's in the title. <laughs> I almost always put the name of the game in the title. Yo, chat, what should we do? I don't know. It's up to you. You can do whatever your heart desires, except for things that are against the rules that I never actually define anywhere. Let's 
such speed, such grace. I'm kicking ass. <laughs> Violence. I refuse to wall run till my legs won't work. I simply refuse. Where the fuck am I going? There are secrets afoot. I just need to remember where to actually go for these. I can remember a few places I wasn't able to do because of the black orb thing, but I can't remember where they are. Uh, this is not the right option. Correct. I wanted to go a different direction. Cool. I got spun around. You know, I wasn't expecting that to be a, a bottomless pit, or a, a pit that kills you. There we go. Alright, so now we're over here. So where the fuck am I going? Ah, false royalty. Quite, quite, yes. <laughs> I don't like when YouTubers don't include the title of the game anywhere in your vids. Uh, I did that with one. <laughs> so far I think I have... The only game I did that with was uh, Kanban Cardboard, because I thought the title would work better if I didn't put the title in it. Like, the joke would, would, would be lesser. The princess used to love having afternoon tea here, but the handmaiden has run out of their special ingredient. I guess the princess doesn't want anyone else's tea. Okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, well, if I don't know where to go, let's start backtracking a little bit. Let's go up to uh, that place over there. That was a pretty uh, relevant place for a good while that I kept having to come back to. <laughs> That's actually an interesting question, Isaac. So, <clears throat> do you ever get tired of playing games? And if so, how do you deal with it? So, um, I don't know who here actually pays attention to my other channel, my Feed Jompo channel, but one of the things that I realized was that I was getting really bored of playing games that were uh, like triple A titles. Because at a certain point, the uniqueness of them, the things that they actually do that is unique, like their great graphics, or maybe, you know, large online multiplayer, or something like that. Oh fuck, I've been listening- I've been looking for this room for a million years and I can't believe I just stumbled on it. The- that stuff started getting boring because I just started getting used to it. So what I decided to do was what I ended up using as my topic for my Feed Jompo channel video which was I wanted to play indie games and see what they could offer, try to look very specifically at what they do well, and look at it with a critical mind. And at the same time, have fun just kind of exploring and seeing what weird ideas people could come up with. And so I think for everyone it'll be different. For some people, you know, the interesting thing for them might be that they try to find fun in a different way. Maybe they try to be more social, or maybe they try to do more competitive things, or maybe they play games in a challenge run type of way. Now that's a nice to have. But everyone just needs to find their own thing. For me, playing a bunch of indie games has really uh, refreshed my joy of playing games, because there was definitely a period I was not playing much of it. I think you aren't the princess. I don't know. They they also talk about how she has a disguise. So maybe she is the princess and the current princess is the false princess and we're going to go restore our throne. Or we're the false one and we're going to go steal the throne. Not sure. Honestly, I'm, I'm not paying too much attention to the story. Let's see, words, words, words. Jump up Minecraft speed run when? Uh, never, because I actually don't like Minecraft, if you can believe that. I know that's heresy to a lot of people, but I just don't like it. I think the library had a locked door. Let's go in here. <laughs> I think this is an upward spiral, baby. From bunny girl to goat girl, it's an upward spiral. Because I'm going nowhere but up. And thus, I'm in a new place. So we got a few doors that we can look at in the library, which is nice. And one has been completely resolved, and I'm really hoping I can find something cool in the other one. Fuck, it's just health. This was just health and shit. Alright! 
here's the thing. I think the library might contain... Wait, how the fuck do I get out of here? Do I... Uh... Huh. Okay, I see. These are actually curved. <laughs> there we go. Easy enough. Oh yeah, I, I feel you, John Poe Sumer. The, uh... <laughs> watching games on YouTube has become a pastime of mine as well. Usually because I think the personality that's playing it is particularly funny or interesting or something. But at the same time, it's just easier sometimes to just watch it. Sometimes I just don't have the energy to sit down and actually play the game myself. Which feels really lazy to say, but I think it's a surprisingly common sentiment. Search history reveal? Never ever. You must never know my dark secrets. So let's see, I wanted to go to... I went up here for a reason, didn't I? Yeah, that hole there. I'm pretty sure there's a thing somewhere in here that I haven't been able to fully explore. Somewhere. I, I hope, I hope. <laughs> Creator dashboard reveal. Isn't that against YouTube's rules? It might be against YouTube's rules. I know people never talk about how much money they make or anything, because I think that's against the rules to do that. Can't remember. <laughs> Jumpo, do you like horror games? I do. Some of them. The issue with a lot of horror games is that they have no idea what they're doing, and they think just screaming in your face is scary. Or they are incredibly boring, and they are trying to capture Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, like Poppy's Playtime, and they are doing really bad mascot horror. And those, I think, are very bad. But when someone's trying to tell a story, and trying to do some horror-related things, then I, I think they can legitimately do some very fun things. There's a game that I played recently that you'll get highlights of relatively soon, in like two weeks, of a game called Broken Through that's a horror game. And while it's not super scary, I think it's fun enough to go through and, and enjoy. Personally, I enjoyed it a lot, is what I'm trying to say. Phasmophobia? Solo Phasmophobia, I think, isn't very interesting. But I do like Phasmophobia. I think it had a lot of good ideas when it first came out, for sure. I played a lot of it with my friends, but we got a bit bored of it because we, we basically got the formula down. Let's do... yeah, I can just go up this way, right? Yeah, okay. I was thinking too hard. I, I don't need to do anything crazy. Fuck, more health? This is all nice, but I, I, I want to find a big key! Oh yeah, Garden of Ban Ban. Isn't that like the peak I want to be like a, a mascot, like a mascot horror game, but I'm actually totally incompetent and don't know what I'm doing, but YouTubers are screaming about it anyway because they want a million dollars from the million views that they're trying to get? That's what I heard about it, that it's not actually scary in the slightest, it's not made well in the slightest. I guess if it is just some guy making a game, you know, you can't be too harsh on it, but... When it becomes a dime a dozen, it just starts feeling more like it's a greedy cash grab than it feels like, you know, anything legitimate. Fuck, dude. I, I can't believe I have no idea where I'm going. Hmm... <laughs> you gotta be able to figure out something, Jumbo. Maybe I'll work my way back into Sansa Keep. Maybe there is something there. <laughs> With the new Phasmophobia update, your levels and items all got reset, so you're livid about 80-hour progress lost. That's pretty brutal. Don't worry, Damien. I don't consume you. You consume me. That's what we're all here for. Ah, right, Spirals. That's actually one I've been considering playing for a while. Uh, Resident Evil 4 Remastered. Seemed like it would be interesting. I like Resident Evil a lot. Uh, I played most of Village and then got busy with work and never actually finished it. And then, uh, Resident Evil 2, I actually got the remastered version of that. But I, uh, only got, like, halfway through it? And that one was just because I got busy again. I keep doing that. 
But RE4 could be a lot of fun as a stream game. And I am looking for some things to replace the, uh, the gaping holes that I have left in myself right now. Do you like story-driven games? It is very dependent. There are some I really like, and some I absolutely do not like at all. And it usually depends on the story itself. I think if the story is engaging, I can get really into it. But the, the main issue is that a lot of them waste my fucking time so much. I've... Mm, analog horror reaction... I don't know. I, I don't get too scared about analog horror stuff. In fact, I, I usually giggle about scary things more than I actually get nervous about them. So I'd probably get all like hypercritical and start saying this and that is is good and bad about it. I wish they did this, I wish they did that. Maybe that's fun, but it uh, might also be completely like ruining the point of watching a horror thing just for me to say I didn't like the way that they made this happen. Damien, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. I need to figure out where I am going in this game. Oh! You didn't see that. So I want to go up there, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. So there, There is good analog horror, but there's also a lot of bad analog horror. I'd say there's way more bad than good, for sure. There's a thing. I can get that real quick. More health, please. God damn. I'm healthy. The, uh... Oh yeah, V1, I agree with that. Garden of Ban Ban. It's not like it's an irredeemably bad game. It's just that it's very derivative. Not that I played it, but from what I've seen. Back to story-driven games real quick. The, um... So something like Omori, right, is story-driven, but the issue I have with Omori is that it is very, um... I feel like the, the, the story is doled out so slowly. Like, it's trying to build characters, but it's doing very efficient, or inefficient. It's doing a very inefficient job at it. I've already been here. Shit. And so because of that, like, the last stream that I did of Omori, which is story-based, is... Like, there's so much running around and talking to, like, the bully friends of What's-Her-Face that I just, I just, I was losing my fucking mind. Because, like, give me something else to do. I need something else, please. Because I don't care about these characters because they're not relevant. They're not important. They're saying things that don't matter. They're not being characterized in an interesting way or a deep way. I'm just learning that this character likes candy and will steal it. And to me, that is not enough to drive me through a story-based game. Side characters that don't have a ton of stuff going on for them is fine, but to have such a heavy focus on them, it just drains me like crazy. Um, but at the same time, something like Undertale, I think, is actually very interesting pretty much the entire time you're going through it. Oh, right! I can do the thing! <laughs> I don't know what the the boiled one is, but... Hmm. I'll take a peek at that. Actually, hold on. I'm all tabbing again. Goodbye, music. Let me do this real quick so I can watch it. The boiled one. Analog. Yeah, there we go. I'll look at that later. <laughs> and I'm back in, baby. This. Come on, motherfucker. There's gotta be a path. If I do this, everyone, if I do this, I get a new outfit. This is important to me. What about books? Do you like them? Sorry, I'm not an avid reader. I read manga. <laughs> ah, I see what I should do. Do this. But I need to go up! There we go. I don't think my time will be good enough, but... Let's see. From here, if I do... Yeah, okay. That's not the right route. I need to figure this out. Mm hmm. 
let's see. So if I went there, there, I could make my round back up to there. But then where would I want to go from there? While riding that way wouldn't make much sense. I could grab that, jump down to that one. And then bounce, wall kick, bounce up to there. And then... From, hmm. Though going up all the way would probably be smarter. Maybe I should bounce up to there to grab that, come back down, and then grab the ones along the wall on that side. That's what I'm thinking is probably the best idea. Okay, let's whack that and try it out. <laughs> a Jompo book reviewer would be your nightmare. I don't think I'd be able to survive my own book reviews, bro. I used to do that when I was taking literature classes in college and uh... You know... It's, it's crazy just how boring you can make something that could otherwise be so interesting. Alright, got those. Now I'm gonna go up to this one. And then I think if I go to... I'm gonna go to here. To here. Yep! And then to here. Sweet! New outfit. Oh, I hope it's cute. Please! I got... Aspect of a Guardian. Alright, fellas. Oh, Well, if you like One Pieces... This is like a, uh, this is like Sailor Moonish, With the smallest cape in the world. I'll wear it. Beautiful. That's what I love. <laughs> Are you watching the boiled one right now? No, I opened it in a, in another tab so I can watch it later. I, uh, personally, I'm not a huge fan of reaction stream type stuff, especially if you don't get permission beforehand. I've always been a bit iffy about that. I feel like it's... I, I don't want to be like Hassan, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I think it works fine if you if you ask permission first, or if they already are fine with people doing it in general, or something. It could even be interesting, but to me, if I don't really have anything to add, like, I, I don't know, I don't want to just watch it and then hope that I can make something up on the fly to be interesting. Otherwise, I do just feel like I'm stealing content. Hmm. So, fuck. Where else should I go? There's... There's one area I cannot find my way back to as much as I'm trying. You know what? Let's go back... This way. <laughs> She's got hips? You're damn right. She's got more than that. Oh yeah, uh, because it's fun to talk about. Back to story-based games. Uh, the reason why I think Undertale works so well is because the side character... Um, the side character interactions are very light, and they're usually focused around some interesting combat quirk. So you can get a bit of development to that way, through Undertale. Um, like, through its combat, and that's what makes it interesting. If some guy doesn't have any depth to him, it's not like it suddenly, oh no, I can't believe it, the... the I'm wasting my time. You're still getting fun combat at the same time. And so, because of that, you can develop a character and have the combat happening, and it becomes interesting regardless. The character fight style has to do with their character. The character's talking in between turns is fast enough for you not to not get too distracted by anything. It just is paced well. And while I don't think Undertale's by any means perfect, I do think that it, it did a good job balancing all of that to keep things engaging pretty much the entire time. I respect Undertale for sure, uh, even if I do think the genocide route is really goddamn shitty when it comes to writing. It gets way too edgy and I think it gets really cringy. Not that it's all terrible or anything, not irredeemable, but definitely not my cup of tea. Jompo, you should play Undertale Yellow. Well, I hope you look forward to the Undertale Yellow highlights that are coming out that are based off of my stream of Undertale Yellow. <laughs> Your wish has been granted immediately. You are welcome. Any uh, Undertale fan games besides Yellow? Back when Undertale first came out, I tried playing uh, Undertale Red, which was fun. Uh, and then I played one that was like, uh, Dust Tail, and that one was really bad. <laughs> but those are the only ones I played. 
I'm not a huge Undertale fan. Like, I liked the game, but I never really bought into the fandom or anything. And so because of that, I, I sort of found myself in a position where uh, Undertale fan games would try to, like, really hit you with extended lore type stuff that I just didn't give a shit about. I don't need extended lore. I don't need any of that. I don't need any of that kind of stuff. I was never in Undertale for the lore. I always thought Undertale was good because of the characters and stuff. To me, that's what made it fun. <laughs> Undertale? Deltaverse is pretty unique and not that lore heavy. Fuck, I went in a circle again. <laughs> I don't know how to get back to the place I was at that one time. Uh, fuck. I'm just a lost soul that doesn't know where to go anymore. God damn. They got Undertale Blue now? Do they actually? <laughs> it wouldn't be by the same guys, but... I am losing my fucking mind. How do I get back to where that one place was? Maybe it's Dilapidated Dungeon and I gotta go through there? There was like this whole area that had uh, that had a bunch of wall run stuff. I went up like a pillar in the middle of the room. I swore it was part of the library. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go back to the library. Not that I remember where I am. <laughs> There's basically a version of Undertale for everything. I'm looking forward to... Uh, uh, yeah, shit. I'm looking forward to, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, my brain. It's the actual Undertale sequel. The one that is real. Uh, Deltarune. There we go. Deltarune seems like it's gonna be fun. I have somehow avoided spoilers on all of it, so I don't know anything about it. Which is honestly the most impressive thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. And so, when I finally get around to it, it's gonna be nice and fresh and cool. And I'm gonna smile real nice and big. <laughs> Jumpo, you should play Pseudo Regalia. I'm thinking about it. It seems like a pretty cool game, a cool game with all of the movement options and stuff they give you. Nothing important happened. Yeah, but again, I think that um I still personally consider mechanical spoilers to be spoilers, you know? So someone saying, "Oh, this character fights you like this." and does this unique thing, and yada yada, is is something that will ruin the fun to some extent. The surprise of seeing what is offered in Undertale is part of the appeal, and knowing all the different characters that you would fight and stuff kind of did ruin that for me in, uh, when I played Undertale, uh, the first time. Because I already knew what all the characters looked like, what their designs were, a lot of the gameplay quirks, a lot of the twists, what the, uh, that they were different routes based on whether or not you killed things. Knowing all of that kind of, uh, Put me in a position where I, I felt like I was too familiar with everything already. I think I'm going the right way. I want to go to the Sansa Dungan, I think. Let's go this way, real quick. Remind myself what's happening. <laughs> to be honest, you didn't miss that much when you were out. I, I'm i trying my best to find some of these things, but I'm a bit... um. How do I put this? Uh, I have no idea where the fuck I'm going. I found uh, three boss keys total, and I am still looking for two more, which I think I know where they are. Well, one of them I know where they are. I just don't have the ability for it, or I'm stupid. But I keep running in circles and getting lost. And I need to make my way to the dungeon. That's my guess. Dungeon seems like a good place. I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> the real Undertale is the friends we made along the way. Come on, bro. Oh, uh, OJ is a made-up name that uh, my mod came up with that's really bad, and he keeps insisting that it's what everyone in, in my chat is called. That's what the OJ is. I would recommend not uh, heeding anything he says. Uh, he does a good job moderating. Uh, he does a very poor job speaking, and so uh, don't listen to him. Is what I'm trying to say. So let's see, theater and Dungan. The theater is... Maybe it was up there that I went. You, you are now my, my vessel. 
What's in here? God, please, please be a place I haven't been. Lord have mercy! This is it! I've been thinking about this place the whole time! There are a bunch of places I can run around here. Oh, thank God. 10 hours later, bro. I've been fucked up. Big time. Hell yeah. Asgor fucking dies! He can't say that, bro! That's a spoiler! Alright, so this is why I wanted to be here. I have not explored any of this place, and this is what I needed. Thank God. So I've been through there before, I believe. That doorway. Maybe. What I haven't done is opened up whatever that is, got whatever that is, and I think gone... I think down there. So step one. Touch the funny thing. Oh, I thought I got my kick better. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some. Alright, adjust my pose, my legs falling asleep. <laughs> Please do not translate that Morse code. It says, uh, fuck! That's what it says. You can tell because of the pixels. Alright, so I'm gonna go get that green thing, and then I'm gonna go through that hole in the wall. And if I look at the map, where I just came from was the Bailey. So going, actually no, I do want to go to the right, don't I? I think I do. There's another outfit over there, don't know how to open that though. Alright, let's do this. I'm thinking, if I go this way, and then that way, and then... So there's probably a lever somewhere that I can pull. Ah, there it is, okay. So let's do this. Whew, barely made it. I got aerial finesse. Press jump during your knockback state to regain balance. Oh, I can tech. Hell yeah. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. That's all right. I'll just be over here again. Well, I do want that lever. Because if I can get that outfit, that would be fucking rad, dude. This game is a dress-up game. That's what I exist for. <laughs> Dumping Taco Bell? I hope that, uh, that means you were throwing it out and not doing the other kind of dumping. Although, to be honest, I do like me some Taco Bell. But it, it goes, it, it hurts my insides so bad. <laughs> my organs, they fail every time I eat it. Sweet. Oh, hell yeah, I'm getting a new outfit, baby. Eh. Yeah, that's good enough. That's not. Hey, John Pope, here I mentioned that after you kick off a wall, you can backflip in midair. So you do that. So you do... Ah, but you can only do it once. But that definitely helps. A million percent that helps. I did not know you could go straight into a... I could have probably figured that out, but... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's unbelievably helpful. <laughs> Jumpo merch when? See, now, you want me to give you a real, a real issue that I've been thinking about in my head? Chen is not my character. Chen is from Toho. And the artist who redrew her is B-Cub. And so unless I'm going to reach out and somehow license it, selling merch seems like it's not too good of an idea. Because I'm literally stealing someone else's art and design. It's against the rules, basically. So I have no idea how to make merch. Also, I have no plans on making merch. What the fuck is the... Oh, you have to do them in order this time. Okay. What? This? No! I'm fucking up! I'm fucking up! I'm fucking up! You see how easy it is if you just don't fuck up? How the hell do I get that thing? I guess I can do a... And then that goes to... there? Okay. 
Sorry, I'm paying attention because if I get the outfit, I'm gonna smile real big. Well, that sucked. Or did it? That's called the shortcut, baby. I'm definitely not winning this. Over there? I missed it! Fall! Such speed! Go in between! You guys are loving this sick gameplay I'm doing, right? The one where I'm fucking up everything? <laughs> well, it's my first run, so I'm not getting it, that's for sure. Because I didn't get the time right. Mama mia! God damn! Jumpo, you should play Subnautica! That's another one I've been thinking about. Subnautica seems cool, and I actually don't know a lot about it, because I only saw Vinny Vine Sauce play beta footage. Or footage, I say. I've only seen Vinny play uh, the, like, beta version. Alright. There we go. I don't know why I keep... I just can't. And then up there is the final one. Okay, this is definitely doable. I just gotta not be stupid. Heal a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no worries, Sean Fox. If that's how you say it. Yeah, me struggling with ledges and stuff is, is pretty fine. <laughs> and I'm still gonna keep struggling with it. Until I really drill it into my head. But okay, I think this is definitely doable. Subnautica seems very cool. I technically have it for free. I'm not playing Ark because it's a crafting type game. It, it definitely does not look interesting to me. I know I won't like it. That's all there is to it. Alright, this time I can do this. Into that. Very cool. Ah, oh, fuck me dead. I can't believe I fucked up so bad. No, get it, get it. Come on. Come on. I had good time. I had good time for a second. Fuck it, put me back in, coach. It spawned me here. This isn't where I wanted to be. No players online. Interesting that you brought that up. I saw it on, um, on itch. Itch.io. But I didn't actually know what it was. Apparently the first version of it was fun? Or something? Like people really held it in good regard? So I was thinking that I could do the same thing and play it. There we go. Those are words I put together. Although I really don't know much about it, so... <laughs> Basically, it was on my radar. I really am dumb. Sometimes I just completely forget how to do any type of movement stuff. If I do this, and then instead of double jumping, then I do it. Hey, so easy. If only. And now I'm back over here. Wonderful. What are the numerical digits to reach you by phone? Uh, if you're in the United States, you hit 9, then 1, then 1. And then you hit the call button, and then you hang up really fast so no one hears you. That's how I know it'll be you guys. By the way, if you do that, the police will come to your house. <laughs> I did that once when I was a kid. I was like, what happens if I do this thing where I, like, don't actually go through all the way with... The call, huh? That'll be crazy. It's like I'm calling the cops, but I won't get in trouble because I won't actually call them. And then, uh, and then the, the cops showed up and then they called later and they told my mom that they got a phone call. <laughs> and, uh, I got in trouble. <laughs> Pretty cool story, right? <laughs> God damn. If only I could get that angle. There we go. I, I might still be able to get this. Maybe. Well, with 10 seconds, maybe not, but... Oh, well, now definitely not. Now that I'm fucking up and everything... Oh, I'm dead. I'm done, kiddo. Especially since I messed that up, too. Turn this off. I don't want to see it anymore. How old were you? How old were in here? So either you're asking how old I am, or how old the people in chat are. I'll answer, um... When I, when I did that, I was like... I was like 12, I think. <laughs> so, you know, I have an excuse. I was a young little bitch, so I made mistakes. Oh, fucking stupid. 
This one's harder than the other ones. This one makes me have to like actually do things really accurately sometimes. That's the answer you were looking for. Good, good. Oh, I should have known I was going up there. I don't know how I forgot. Let's do this, and then this goes this way. I can do a kick into that, into this. Into that, and then if I can land this, that would be fucking awesome! I landed it! All right, and then up to here, into this. Let's me go here, and then I wanna do a wall run into getting up, which worked. It worked. It's good enough. I can do this. Just take it easy, Jumpo. This is a very easy jump. And then you, it was a little higher than I thought it would. Fuck. I thought it. <laughs> I thought the, I thought the platform was lower. I didn't have time to look. <laughs> I once actually accidentally called the police because the screen on my old phone was completely broken and it was just black, so I kept pressing the power button and activated the emergency call. Brutal. Come on, Gracie, don't yell at your pet because of me. Unless. All right, this time I got it. Fellas, I got it. Trust me, trust me. This time is gonna be easy, even. Maybe even one of the easiest things I've ever done. See how goddamn clean I'm getting? Uh, except for this one! Yeah, there we go! Beautiful save by Jompo. No, oh, do this. Yeah, yeah! There we go. And then take it slow. The rest of this should be easy enough to just clear out. Just don't fall. Don't do anything dumb. Just let it be. I did it! I need to see what I look like with pants on or off, baby! Ah, class. Beautiful. 411 was a dial uh, number you could dial for information. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's old as shit. I I do remember that, but I think I was a kid at the time, so I never dialed it because I didn't know what it did. Uh, and then I'm doing the attire button. Classy. Ooh, cute. Nice. She's got a little scarf. This is like modern. This is something that you'd see some woman walk in, and she'd have like a fake ass, fake tits, fake mouth, fake lips. Fake hair. And then she'd take pictures of her food and then put them on Instagram. That's what this outfit makes me think. Except, like this, this is classy. On her, it's classy. I'm using a controller. This game was made for a controller. All right, now that I uh, did all that, I need to go, okay, on the other side of that fence. Over there. I don't know what dialing 411 does. I would have assumed that it was just discontinued because no one is going to do that when you can just look stuff up on the internet. <laughs> I'm not going to do any orange juice related uh, merchandise. That's terrible. Not only would no one buy it, but it also looks stupid and I wouldn't want to do it. All right, here we go, fellas. I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. But this is good. This is a place I haven't been before. There's discovery to be found. You'd buy it? Yeah, but shut up. <laughs> I don't know if this is enough to... Yeah, I want the boost for sure. Oh, fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Slightly more difficult, but I still got there. Two people would buy it? I don't believe you. I think you're fu- hey man. Please leave me alone. I will kill again. Okay, sorry buddy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't mean it. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Ooh, I don't like that. Look, you guys can say you'd buy anything you want, but that's 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 not good enough for me. I will only sell a shirt if I myself would buy it. And I wouldn't buy that. I think that's cringe. Help! Jumpa, we're on your knees. Yeah, but you guys are doing something different. You're not begging. You're doing that other thing. Well, you're begging for some other thing, I should say. <laughs> hey, look, a key! And it looks like we're in a... Like a theater. Kind of play area. Oh, I am just in the theater. Cool, I made my way around. Hell yeah! I'm not holding up. You guys are the ones on your knees. And Jampo only moves forward. Hmm, okay, I see how to do this. I can probably just go up this way. Oh, yep, there we go. And now a couple little hops and I can get some cool health. Yeah, fuck! <laughs> that goat has been on some smelling salts. <laughs> the one on the thumbnail? Probably. I just googled goat and I grabbed his cute little face. Alright, so. We need to exit stage left and I keep getting caught on these things and it's kind of evil. So let's see. Uh, let's go this way. I hope I find something cool. Ah, glad I have this move then. That goes down? Wasn't expecting it to go down. Hmm. Where the hell am I? I may be lost, but at least I found something. It's... Nothing counts as something, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know where the hell I'm going. Hmm, one of those things, huh? Alright, I'll be able to circle back, I guess. Think they meant Mr. I'll kill again? Could be, I don't know. They're either used to me saying that they're gonna blow me, or uh... Yeah, they're talking about Mr. Kill Me. Oh, the pain of having a fucking 30 second delay, man. I really don't like it that much. But it's just what I have to do for my internet. Sometimes I'm just out of my own loop. What's this one do? That's not cool. A new power! Oh, finally. Could this be the one thing I need? Soul Cutter. Hold attack until your weapon is ready. Release the fire. Enhances your charge attack with a long distance projectile. That is exactly what I need. Because that can hit the switch in that other room. Awesome. So if I solve this one, then I solve the other one that I can go get. And thus, the game is so close to completion now. <laughs> Whoops. The Jompies? I don't know. The Jompie sounds a bit too uh, childish, don't you think? <laughs> Although, to be fair, Jomplets has crossed my mind before because it sounds so stupid. Alright, where was that one room that I was at that one time? It was up here, right? <laughs> OJ's is not best. There we go. Alright, and then uh, I'll go up there. I probably should have paid more attention to where I was and where I'm going and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Alright, this is the way I wanted to go. hi -ya! Took a second. Do you ever feel like you've wanted to incinerate children? Yeah. Yeah. What does OJ stand for? Go ahead, Stigma. Go show off what OJ stands for. Show off how cool your idea was. Please, please. So it just goes down like that. Okay, I see what I have to do. So 
So I can aim in first. I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Come on, Stigma. No reason to, to pause. This name is so good, right? This name that you came up with. How do you go into first person? There's a quick button! Holy shit, I'm stupid. First person was... Uh... Well, there was a first person button. Found it! Alright, center that on my... Do that, and then... Okay, I see how I have to do it. So I'm too high up right now. So I have to be over here, so that I can li line up with it properly. Stigma, be honest. <laughs> be honest, you know it was original jumpers. You said original jumpers. Alright, question. Where the fuck am I going here? I made all these jumps for what reason? Oh. I see. I'm solving puzzles right now, Mom. <laughs> we don't have a catchphrase, Stigma. Stop making shit up. <laughs> you are an evil man. Uh, okay, so how do I solve this one? Just a wall run? Yeah, just a wall run. <laughs> what about the schlomplers? The sh- the sh- the schlomplers? That one's a bit tough to say, I- I think. Not a bad one, but maybe a little hard to say. No, mom! I made it. Now where? Over there? Okay, uh, so from there I can do Make this easy just go to there then around to here. There we go cool Top of the morning to you OJ's top of the morning to you laddies. I Ain't ripping off Jap J Jacksepticeye, okay? <laughs> That's not on my to-do list. I Mean of all people Jacksepticeye really? I could go for a biscuit right now. OJ does not have a ring to it. At least I can run on this giraffe skin. Thank God they made the walls out of giraffes. Uh, okay, I'll just go down. Oh, interesting. There we go. Nice. There's a thing! Hi-yet! Dead! Three yet! Alright, Fingy. You motherfucker. Yeah, I'll tank shit just to kill ya. Oh, there's a woman. Okay, that's actually maybe a little more dangerous. No, I wanna- there we go. A ranged move is definitely nice. There we go. There's some damage, buddy. That time I just missed. Fuck your plates. Hiya! Hiya! Uh, hi! All right, fuck it. I'm just hitting you. All right, you're just hitting me. Please. I'm not good at the combat in this game. It's weird to me. Come on, that was some sick damage I just landed. At least I have a ranged attack! Damn, I'm good. We all know I'm good. <laughs> OJ's may be united, um, but that would be someone else's group chat, so I don't know who you're referring to here. So where do I want to go? Here? I can also go up. I'll go this way. I don't know what's up over here, but I'm going. Alright, fellas, turns out it wasn't anything. That was a huge mistake. I guess you can go down from there? Oh, please, that was sick. There we go, now we're up. <laughs> why, why Undertaker cosplay specifically? Is it because I said top of the morning to you laddies? Like the Undertaker's famous catchphrase? 
All right, this is, uh, I'm thinking, uh, okay, I know where I'm going. <laughs> You're Jompo, you can do anything. Thank you. Astolfo cosplay? Absolutely not. I am definitely not in the market to be a femboy. It's not that I'm like... Okay, yeah, I'm just not built for it. <laughs> not even close. I could not pull off any kind of femininity at all. Not that I'm some macho man or anything, but I just, it just, it, it wouldn't. Fellas, it just wouldn't. Sorry to crush your dreams. Although, maybe some of you would be into that. Wearing a cute outfit, but being, uh, the opposite of cute. The juxtaposition. Goddamn. Uh, I'm in the green juice. That's not good. No one wants to be in the green juice. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Yeah, And I missed! I'll get you, motherfucker! Yeah. I guess I could always hit it back at him instead. I didn't- I- I didn't mean to. Fuck it, just- just-, just fuck it! Fuck you! Alright, buddy? I didn't ask for this. Where am I going? Ah, uh, I see. Alright, well done. And then from here you go to... Stop. Uh... Wait, seriously, what? This way, maybe? Uh, well, okay, if it works, it works. I don't know if that was intended, but if it works, it works. Dude, I got fucking hair on my legs, and it's dark hair, and my skin is light as hell because I never go outside. I can never be clean shaven ever because I just have hair that is the opposite color to my body. <laughs> I don't think a skirt would fix that. I'm just a quirked up white boy. I can't do nothing like that. I said boar instead of boy, and I feel kind of embarrassed about it. I hope you weren't listening. I did it! What was the point of me doing all that, by the way? Yeah. Alright, so there's one more, apparently. Maybe if I do all three of them, it'll unlock this big gate. That's my guess, and I'm going with it. Why are we talking about femboys? Everyone wants me to dress up like a femboy, you know, it's just the thing they do. Ain't my fault. Well, maybe it is, since I played Ultra Kill that one time, and we know how those fans are. Ah, beautiful. I missed! Alright, let's just do this. Up, and then... Just, just, just do what I want you to do. Kick, and then do that. I don't need to hang on any bullshit, but if I wanted to, I could. Hmm. Quite. Because <laughs> I always come back for more. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Alright, sweet. That wasn't so bad. Uh, big circle. Which leads to... Stuff. I, what is the point of anything I'm doing right now? I'm, my purpose in life, it's dwindling. Who the hell would walk on that thing when they could just wall run? I can heal. Ah, give me some health back. Is it not doing, okay. Well, you win some, you lose some. What is this? <laughs> Sansa Keep. Oh, I'm back here! So I have been down here before. I just circled back. Interesting. I see, I see. So either this way is the way I need to go? Ah, oh, shit. I don't know why I did that. So either I need to go around that way, or I need to go back up that way. I'm- I'm- sp sp Brain. 
Whatever. I'm I'm fine with this. Let's go this way. What a sentence to join on. I only say good sentences. Every sentence is good to join on. Okay, so this one takes me to where? Dilapidated dungeon. I see. Okay. In that case, yeah. I gotta clear out one more room. And then I should probably be able to get the boss key here, and then I'll be able to get the boss key in that other room as well. And from there, I will finally be able to get the fuck to the end of the game. I just need to work my magic and get up. Somehow. How do I get up from here? Hmm... Maybe... Hell yeah! I'm fucking awesome. That felt good, baby. Sweet! <laughs> Wood Smash Metaton X. God damn. Jumpa, who is your first hater? <laughs> on, uh, on my other channel. On my Feed Jumpo channel. When I made my video about why I think Kingdom Hearts 3 sucks ass and bullshit, uh, there was a guy with a My Little Pony avatar who went around talking to people in my comment section where they were like, good video, you know, really good points. I, I understand and agree with this. And he went, no, don't listen to him. Watch this other video. It explains why the Kingdom Hearts 3 is actually the best in the Dark Seeker saga. And he was all over. He left like 30 comments, bro. That was my first hater. Everyone else has been oddly amenable. I've never really had a struggle with it. Only a couple people saying things here and there, but they're just like offhanded. I don't call those haters, just people who said something once. You stop, 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 you fuck. I'm in a lot of pain right now, fellas. Gotta hand it to ya. You jerk. I'm assuming I have to kill all these guys since they locked me out of here. Ranged move. Ranged move. Ranged move. Try me, bitch. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. I can't take many hits. Uh! Get fucked. Ready for hit number two, you bitch. I kicked it too far. I guess that was technically hit number two. You just hit the wrong guy. Woo! Don't hit me. Don't kill me. I'm scared! I missed! Jumpo's greatest enemy! A woman! With a flame head. Woo! There we go. Why is it always the ones with the My Little Pony profile pictures? I know! It's crazy. Not only that, but... You know, to betray one of your own. How could somebody do that to me? <laughs> uh... My My Little Pony years were epic, bro. So, is there a door over there, or am I just losing my mind? I am just losing my mind. There's no reason to jump over there. Okay, that's easy enough. <laughs> I am not a brony. I am not. But, back when it first came out, I was. I thought everyone who said, the, the show is actually really epic, you know, really manly. True masculinity is... Guys, I have to do all of that over again. Guys, I have to do all of that over again. Guys, I have to do all of that over again. Guys... I have to do all of that over again. Guys. <laughs> Guys. I have to do all of that over again. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm sad now. Huh, should have saved. Should have saved. You know, that's my fault. Fuck. <laughs> 
Uh, well, you know, nothing to do but to just do it again. Thank you for the 250 on the oof. The world's a dark place, you know? <laughs> I appreciate the donation. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'll do what I can with this whole uh, going fast thing. Anyway, yeah, I was a, I was a brony for two years or so uh, during season one and season two. I think it was fun. I liked the show enough. I thought it was cute and all of that. Never really had more thoughts on it than that. But it was fun to be a part of a little community uh, since everyone was so into it at the time. So I had my own little uh, forum that I would post on and stuff and talk to people about it. Uh, but then I just, uh, I didn't feel like watching season two. I didn't want spoilers either, so I just disappeared and never talked to anyone about it ever again. Very interesting story. I didn't think it was manly or anything. I just liked cute shows. I watched like every cartoon at the time, because I, I really like animation and stuff. It's good to know I wasn't a hardcore brownie, but... <laughs> I guess it's a little cringe still. I was definitely a little cringe. And you know what? I go so far as to say, I haven't stopped being cringe. Yeah. Oh. Have fun running errands. Why am I being very stupid right now? This is a very easy jump that I'm not making. Everyone was at one point cringe? Yeah, I was a teenager at the time, so being cringe is par for the course. <laughs> so I don't really mind it. It's not like I look down on it and I'm like, oh, how embarrassing. If only I didn't do it. If only... Goddamn... Ah, fuck! Come on, come on. I can do this. So how did I do this last time? I think I did... Uh... There we go. That's what I did, I think. Although I, I landed the last jump. I'm losing my mind. I think I got really demotivated when I had to do all this over again, and it's like fucking my brain up. Yeah, I try my best to like grow out of it at a certain point. Not in terms of like, oh, I'm not allowed to watch cartoons unless they're socially acceptable or anything, but just in general, I think at a certain point, I, uh, I didn't need to flaunt the idea that I was in some way unique for watching a show or something. I have accepted myself. I'll go the other way, my friend. There we go. That's what I did last time. Good enough. All right, that's one. And this time I won't forget to save. <laughs> Jumpo, did you watch Steven Universe? I have very mixed feelings about Steven Universe. I did watch it, and I think when the story was going, it was decent. At best, it was legitimately good. And when the story was going, it was sometimes just decent because I think some of the combat, not the combat, the conflict resolution was silly. Like it was too simple and easy and I thought that things were just kind of getting goofy. Uh, specifically, I can't remember what those cases are, but I do remember feeling like, oh, I remember what it was. The cluster fucked me up. They built up for the cluster for so long. They were like, the cluster's gonna fucking destroy everything. The cluster's a threat to humanity. The cluster's gonna annihilate the planet. And I was like, oh damn. You know, that's not good. And then uh, they solved it in like half an episode. They built up for so long and then solved it so fast that I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I guess, I, I guess that's one way of resolving it. It's like they, they were doing a really good job building up to things, but they would lose it at a certain point. It just wouldn't be built up to anymore. Uh, like they'd hit the, the breaking point and then just fudge it. That's what I didn't like. And then the towny episodes I thought were a huge waste of time. Again, building characters that were not important at a certain point. But I would say Steven Universe Future, for example, is a good example of... Steven Universe at its best. I think that was a very solid finale for it. I was very happy with the ending, even though I do, again, have plenty of problems with the, with Steven Universe in general. 
Opinion on Gravity Falls, big fan. I think they, they flubbed the ending a bit. Just a bit. I think the the real Gravity Falls is the friends we made along the way ending is a little cringe. Uh, I would have preferred that it would be a mystery that they solved to fit in with the themes that they were going for. But I have very little to complain about with Gravity Falls. I, I very much liked it. Uh, personally, big fan. I, I don't think Alex Hirsch has... No, Alex Hirsch has worked on something else. But I didn't like his newer thing that he made. His, um... What was it? He made he made a show for Netflix, I think, that I wasn't a huge fan of. But Gravity Falls is great. I like Gravity Falls a lot. I'm not nostalgic about it. Well, no, I'd say I am nostalgic about it. Not super nostalgic, but... I just... I was very happy with it. I think they did very good. <laughs> I didn't like how they decided to go back to Steven Universe just because they needed to milk the show more. Personally, I do think... Again, I think Steven Universe Future was the better part of Steven Universe. If they made anything else after that, I would agree. But I think it was a solid, like, bit of closure. They built a little bit on Steven and, and who he was and where the world was afterwards. Personally, I thought the actual ending was a bit anticlimactic, so I was happy to get something out of it besides the actual ending. I'm personally, for Gravity Falls, I am totally fine with Season 3 not existing because I feel like it ended so strongly it doesn't need to keep going. There are too many shows that last too long and end up, like, fudging it. They, they, they fail completely. Just because they, they wanted to go on for too long. Star vs. the Forces of Evil is a good example of that. And that one completely just lost itself at a certain point. Which was really disappointing because I think what Star vs. the Forces of Evil had was pretty good. Solid characters in a nice sort of episodic format with some intense, air quotes, cartoon violence here and there. It made me happy, made me smile. <laughs> and then it got into shipping and it, it kind of ruined itself. For, uh, did you watch it as a teenager? For Gravity Falls, um, I don't remember how old I was when I watched it. I was either in my upper teens or I was an adult. Can't remember. I don't remember how old I was. I remember watching it online, which I think I only did as an adult. <laughs> I don't remember when it came out, honestly. But I was old enough to not, like, I, I wasn't a kid, basically. Okay, so it is locked until I kill everything. This is a combat room. Alright, let's grind some of this, and then you dress bitch. Alright, got two of these guys to deal with. <laughs> well, I caught it to look cool, you know? God damn it. Uh didn't Star and Marco get together? Yeah, I don't remember if they... I think they got together and then they like flubbed it because of some drama and then they broke up and then Star got back with her ex and then the ex ended up trying to go through a redemption arc where he was broing it up with Marco and then like they got over girls and they both separated again or something. I don't know. It started getting really fucking annoying. The forces of evil were the riders that kept putting them into shipping situations, honestly. The goat does have pants. <laughs> I don't want most of my childhood shows and movies to get sequels just because of things like the Super Mario movie and the continuation of Steven Universe. It's so nice to see somebody agree with me that this, the fucking Mario movie was just fucking nothing. It was so boring. If, if all you want to do is look at Mario and say, it's Mario, then there you go. But the movie was nothing. No character. Like, I know Mario already doesn't have character, but it was, like, even worse because now he talked and was just as boring. And and there wasn't me playing a game to, like, cover up the fact that he has no personality. Peach was boring. Luigi did nothing. Bowser wasn't funny or interesting. The world was just, go do this. The story was just, hey, we need to stop Bowser because he's a bad guy. We need to go to the kingdom of 
the mo monkey. Okay, let's go to the kingdom of the monkey. And then they went to the kingdom of the monkey, and then they went, oh, you can't, we're not gonna help unless you beat Donkey Kong in a fight. And then they beat Donkey Kong in a fight, and then they went, okay, let's go on the go-karts go on Rainbow Road to get there faster. It's like, shut, like, fuck, dude. It is such a baby movie. Oh, it killed me. Oh, I hated it so much. I even just got bored just thinking about how much I was bored by it. Plus the fact that I'm really hungry right now, but I'm so close to this game being almost done. Yep. boo, and I'm in. Oh, hell yeah, motherfucker. I did it! And the cage is done. I know it was meant for a young audience, but remember, so was like, you know, fucking Wally -E and Wreck It Ralph, which had surprising depth to it. And uh, Enter the Spider Verse could be argued to be a, a kids' movie as well, because it's animated. Uh, I feel like even like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, like there are plenty of kids' movies that aren't total shit. You know what I mean? So I feel like, to some extent, I don't want my kids to watch some total garbage. Not that I have kids, but if I had kids, I wouldn't want them to just stare at a TV and see keys getting jangled in their face. I'd want them to get something out of it, you know? Inside Out's a good example of one I did not like. <laughs> and there I go, I lagged a little bit. Very cool. This is a tin tinabulation. That is a crazy name for the ding dong bell. Hmm. You liked the first Inside Out? Personally, I thought the first Inside Out was a very by the books Pixar movie or Disney movie. I can't remember which one it was. To me, it, like, when I watched the movie, I basically thought to myself, I have seen this movie 17 times. The past, like, four Disney movies that had come out followed the same structure, the same exact structure. They would introduce a character and I'd go, I know exactly how this is gonna work. I know how exactly what twist is gonna happen. I know exactly what's gonna end up playing out. And I was right about everything. And I was really bummed out about that. I feel like conceptually it could have been interesting, but I, I don't know. It just didn't have the same spark that I think a lot of other Disney movies have. I still think that Wreck-It Ralph was surprisingly good to the extent that it's one of my favorite Disney movies. And there was a Disney movie that I actually thought was somewhat underrated, though I can't remember which one it is. Oh, Zootopia was good. I know that's been like, that's like eight years at this point, but I liked Zootopia a lot. If Nintendo made the Mario movie, it would have been a lot better if they made it with DreamWorks. I think anybody but Illumination would have been a good choice. Even Sony, as much as they make bullshit like Boss Baby, could get away with making something good. You know, they make Boss Baby and forgettable shit like Storks, but they also made the first Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs and the uh, Spider-Verse movies. So there's a lot of good there as well. I think I got to go back to Sansa Keep. Sansa Keep. I, I'm already confused. <laughs> I'm getting so lost. You know, I thought that this was going to be a uh, two-stream thing, but I got lost for so long. I think this is going to end up having to be a third stream. I'll chat with you guys a little more while I order chicken. <laughs> uh, I'm going to order chicken on my phone and it's going to taste so good. I'm going to get the hot sauce and maybe, e ooh, maybe even garlic. God damn. Are we going to get a Jompo mukbang? Ain't happening. Definitely not happening. I don't think eating on stream is all that fun. I could always blab and eat, but I'm not really in it for the, uh, I'm not at the point where I think I could comfortably do that and feel like I'm interesting and not slurping my microphone at the same time. I can tell you like Zootopia by your choice of games. Thank you. Yes, I would fuck the rabbit. Yes. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I'll admit it. Judy hops. I'd like her to hop on my cock. All right. I said it. I said it. <laughs> Imagine, she's so small. You could go all the way through. Hey, Jompa, what's the answer to problem four in your probability and statistics homework? Uh, I think it's about 0.43. I think that. 
<laughs> Why do you know the name, bro? Come on. Oh yeah, I agree with you, Vox Flame. The, the Mario movie was a bummer because a lot of the voices were mediocre. Chris Pratt did not have a good voice for it. Uh, Jack Black works well, but he's done voice acting before with like Kung Fu Panda and stuff. <laughs> uh, I do like, uh, I think Charlie Day was alright, but had barely anywhere to go with it. Princess Peach didn't sound like Peach. Um, uh, yeah, it, it's whatever. Personally, that's a pet peeve of mine as well. When they get non-voice actors, just celebrities, to be the voice actors. A lot of the time, it's just not that good. Damn, I like water. You know, funny story about when I was in statistics for my... I was in AP statistics. If you're not American, AP is advanced placement. What that means, it's a it's a quote-unquote... Um, college course. It's not nearly as difficult as an actual college course, but it's a college level course that counts for college credits depending on how well you do on the final exam. Uh, basically there's standard, then there's honors, then there's AP. So my AP statistics class I was in, and when you do well, if you get full marks, like a 4 or a 5 out of 5 on your final exam, the teacher gets like major kudos uh, and I, I don't remember if they get a bonus, but they get kudos. And when, <laughs> when I was there, I was on track to score so goddamn good. I was doing so well. I was kicking ass. I was getting hundreds on like every test and I wasn't even trying, dude. I was fucking up my class so good. I was one of the best students. And my teacher was excited. She was like, oh my God, you're going to get, you're going to get full marks. You're going to get a five on that. Spring break hits. I take one week. Off of school. Come back. Forget everything. Just no. No idea. How to do anything. I have no... It's never happened to me before. The the first, like, six months of me learning stuff, all of it disappeared in that one week. I didn't do fucking drugs. I didn't go crazy. I didn't get in a car accident. I just played video games and vegged out for a week. Came back. Forgot. Forgot everything. And I had to, from that point, I started cheating off of the other people that that were doing worse than me. So I could remind myself what the fuck was going on, and I barely pulled out a, a passing grade of a 3 on the final exam. Never happened to me before, never happened ever since. Still just floored by how that kind of thing can happen. It fucked me up, it was so weird. <laughs> Hold on. <clears throat> Jack Black is playing Steve in the Minecraft movie. That sounds fucking terrible. I'm I I hope the Minecraft movie is either really bad so I can laugh at it or really good so I can be surprised. Mediocre movies are just the worst. That's right. <laughs> Evil Night Gamer. I just forgot. I forgot. It just left to my fucking mind. <laughs> the the Judy Hopps abortion comic. So I can't say that word too often on YouTube or else I'll get in trouble. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, <laughs> it's really goddamn weird. It's so, so bizarre. It's so weird. <laughs> Judy and, uh, and Nick, the, the fox, are in a relationship and Judy gets pregnant and they start arguing about whether or not to keep the baby. And that's the whole comic. <laughs> and it's, it's like, the dialogue is not the worst, but it's like the fact that it's, it's in, <laughs> the fact that it's in a comic about it. And it's about like the, the fucking Zootopia characters is so goofy. The juxtaposition. I forget what the name of the comic is, but I, it's like, I recommend looking it up. And then after you read the original, read the Arby's version, because somebody rewrote the entire comic and replaced the text with an advertisement for Arby's, and it's so goddamn funny. I love that shit. And Stigma, I've watched Zootopia like five times. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Oh yeah, the uh, the comic itself. Uh, so on my Feed Jompo channel, I actually have a video I made called... Uh, why 
why uh, a guide to killing authors that's what it was a guide to killing authors it's the second video on my channel uh and for that one uh i talked about zootopia because i was talking about the death of the author in regards to zootopia and how my interpretation of its themes fit better than the interpretation that the screenwriters had given basically the argument that zootopia is about racism doesn't work because they aren't races they are animals and there's a completely different history between them. Not gonna go into detail because I'm sure you guys get the idea, but I want it as a good example. But I used <laughs> I used the uh, the comic as a transition while I was talking about stuff. Uh, so I, I referenced the <laughs> the comic in the video when I was talking about Zootopia. So I know a lot about that one because I read it a couple of times to make sure I knew where, like, I wanted it to flow right in my video, you know? Zootopia 2 is probably going to be fucking awful. The sequels that Disney comes out with are generally so bad that I'm just not interested in it. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll watch it, but I can't imagine it's going to be nearly as interesting as the first one. Like, what what else is there, right? The, the characters have all had their arcs. They have been completed. There is nothing more for them to, to do. So they're going to have to somehow say, Hey, those characters that did all this stuff, now there's actually more drama and more stuff that they have to do. And then they're going to resolve that conflict and then they're going to come to a conclusion and go back to the base that they were at before. They'll have to introduce something bad, go through it, and then learn a lesson to get back to where they already were. Because there's nowhere they need to go at this point. It's not a story that needs to be told for Zootopia 2. Same with Wreck-It Ralph 2. There was no reason to make a Wreck-It Ralph 2, but they made it. I never watched Aladdin 2, I never watched Mulan 2, I've never watched Wish. When I think I'm gonna not like a movie, I don't watch it. And I'm usually right about it. Oh yeah, I, I said I was gonna order chicken and I just put my fucking phone down. Can we turn back time to the good old days? I never watched the real life adaptations because I always thought they were just like, they seemed too much like cash grabs. I was not interested in watching the same movie over again, but inferior and looking worse. You know what I mean? Just was, I don't know. I don't watch movies too often anyway, unless they're cartoons. So I do have a bias for that. It has Will Smith though. Yeah, but Will Smith, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I leave that where it is. Ah, there we go. There's the application. Yes, I would like to order some wings, please. Ooh, ooh. Uh, yes, I'd like delivery. Uh, I'd like it delivered as soon as possible. Goddamn, I can't wait to eat these goddamn wings. Did you watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie? Yeah, I, I was so disappointed in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Like, I'm I'm not a huge FNAF fan, uh, but I like it enough. What I was hoping would either be that it would be, like, surprisingly good, and I'd go, Goddamn, that was a lot of fun. Because I think FNAF lore, the story, all that stuff... FNAF has the stuff there to be fun. Even if they had to like work around some of the, uh, what's the word? The, uh, like, the lore isn't consistent. It changes here and there. There's a word for that that starts with the word re, uh, re something. But regardless, it's, there's a lot you could do with it to make it fun in a horror movie, like, context. But it wasn't good enough. And it wasn't bad, so it was boring. It was right down the middle. Right, retcon, that's the word I'm looking for. Well, that's the thing. They they sort of did make a lore-heavy movie, because a lot of the things that people like about it are the references. But if you go into it just watching the movie, the fucking, like, the, the story is that, like, it's similar, but it has, like, the main character, Josh, Josh Hutcherson or whatever, has, like, a dream of the dead children and talks to them in his dream. There's some like basic ass plot about how his little sister can see dead people. Like fuck dude, like as if that hasn't been done a million times. There's um, there's like the bad guy twist fucking sucked and was boring. The character motivations make almost no sense. There's almost no character to be found. The the scares aren't scary because the animatronics don't look scary. There's no lighting to make them look frightening. And they walk around and hang out too much with everybody. It's just nothing. 
It's just nothing. I watched it and I was just bored to fucking tears. I, I went into it with all my friends. We were all waiting to meme and joke and fuck around with it like we do with every horror movie we watch. And it always ended up being boring. Like this, it was so boring. It's, it just, it was nothing, man. It was just a nothing movie. Now, Isaac, you brought up the, uh, the, the Nicolas Cage one, which, fuck, I wish I could remember the name of it. I watched that one too. That one was not good in terms of quality movies. It was good in like a B-movie cheesy, funny kind of a way. I liked that movie a lot because it was just so goofy. <laughs> And that's what made me smile about it. It's just, it's just funny. It's, it's dumb. It's not good, but it's, it's really fun to watch with friends and just laugh about. So fellas, I'm obviously going to go with <clears throat> boneless. Boneless wings are my way of eating wings. Bone in is delicious, but I don't want to get my hands all messy while I'm at my desk watching something. But I'm going boneless. And I'm going to go with, let's see, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm going to go with a mild, mm, I'll go with hot buffalo today. And then, hmm, hmm, honey mustard. Let's do honey mustard. That's simple enough. Boneless is the way to go. It's my default. I love them both. Wings in general, so fucking tasty. I'd say... Yeah, what did I read? Did you watch the Spongebob movies? Only the first one. So I grew up with Spongebob. It was one of my favorite cartoons. You know, I watched it when I was in elementary school. Uh, when season one, two, and three were running. And so it was like peak childhood Nickelodeon shit. And it was great. So, but I watched that first movie, and then they came out with the next season, and something felt off about it, so I just stopped watching it. I dropped Spongebob almost immediately. I think Krusty Towers was the last episode I watched. And then I just wasn't interested anymore. It is a bummer, but I'm, I just don't care. You know, it was good at some point. I don't need to worry about going back and watching more of it. Let's see, sauce on the side, give me my stuff. Got the right flavors. Ah, oh, yeah, add to order. Please deliver this. Take me to check out, bitch. And I double ordered because this app is dog shit. You're not the cheese guy. <laughs> well, I feel better that I'm not the only one that thought you were the cheese guy. <laughs> Honey mustard barbecue and garlic are in order the best sauces. I disagree with you. I disagree with you, Isaac. Because buffalo sauce is God sauce. There is nothing better than buffalo sauce, in my opinion. Honey mustard is good. I like barbecue. And I like garlic. I'd probably agree with you in that order. But sometimes barbecue can outdo the honey mustard if it's just good enough. But buffalo sauce needs to be up there, at the top. I, I fucking, I want to drown myself. If I, if I ever die in any way, it is going to be suffocation from inhaling too much delicious buffalo sauce, man. It's so fucking good. And then I have to tell them to leave this shit at my door. Bada bing. Give me my fucking wings. Hell yeah. And now the wings have been ordered. 18 fucking dollars. 1874. Almost $20 for 10 wings, fellas. That's that's life in America when you get something delivered to you. God damn. Yeah, the Ultra- there's- Does Ultra Kill ever miss, Troll Demon? Does it ever miss? <laughs> it's 2 a.m. and you literally cannot go downstairs. Why, are you gonna pull an Omori and fall down and die or something? At least I think that's what happens. <laughs> or is it because you don't want to wake your parents? 20 euros here can get a dinner for four. Dude, when I was in Japan, it was fucked up. Food was so goddamn cheap. Getting a bowl of ramen here in the United States is like $20. It's like $18 to $20 for a, like a good bowl of ramen. In Japan, it's like, it's like eight USD. It's 
food was just, I could just chuck money and eat anything. And I would feel like I saved money. It's so good. And the food's all so good. <laughs> I, I don't know if I, I think I only disliked certain fish that, and it was because I had to like peel it off the bone and like, it was just such a fucking hassle to tear apart. Like that was a pain. But the food in Japan was just, uh, uh, I said, mm. it was good. I think you can find food that's as good over here in the United States, but, but, and this is a big ass butt, like a, like a, like a big ass butt, fellas. Uh, you have to find the right spot. Like, you really have to dig deep, because it, like, the United States has, like, the best food in the world and the worst food in the world. It's the whole spectrum. But Japan has, like, it doesn't have the lower tier spectrum. It has good food and some of the best food you've ever had, right? Because of that, it's easier to just go out and eat something good. But for the United States, you gotta look around a bit more. Jumpo, I'm gonna turn you off from ever coming to Europe. We don't have buffalo sauce. I don't give a fuck. I'll bring my own. <laughs> oh, you don't want to wake your parents because you're home? Yeah, my parents, un like, my parents were very kind about it. I, I was on the other side of the house, and so I would, like, scream at my friends until 4 a.m. and then fall asleep, and they didn't mind. My mo mom was like, I'm so glad you're having fun. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what a nice woman she is. America sucks, doesn't it? I would say... No. I actually like the United States quite a bit. But it's expensive. If there is one complaint, god damn, I wish it was not pulling as much money out of me as it does. Like, I definitely spend a lot of extra money here and there. Like, my YouTube channel, for example, every thumbnail costs me about $140. Uh, if I get someone to edit my video and it's not me, that's about $140. And so if you look, you can see anytime it says this was edited by someone else, that's money gone out of my wallet. Anytime you see a unique thumbnail uh, that's drawn by fan, that's money gone. Uh, not to complain though, honestly, I think I'm... Honestly, I feel like I'm paying them too little. <laughs> that I'm, I'm paying above what they actually request because I, I think they deserve it, but... There's, like, for YouTube I have money, and then for other uh, hobbies there's money gone. But at the same time, I'm making enough money as a programmer to to feel like I shouldn't have to worry about anything. And I don't, but I, I feel like I should have a lot more money than I actually have. Like, there's, it's bizarre how much money seems to just disappear. $2,000 for rent, by the way. I'm paying $2,000 a month for rent. 2,000 United States dollars for fucking rent. Now, it's a house with three bedrooms, right? One's, one's small, so it's more of an office, and two bedrooms. So it's a good place, but it's 2,000 fucking USD. And that doesn't include electricity or water. <laughs> God damn, dude. Shit's pricey. <laughs> you have a four-story house, they put you in the room next to them? It's so they know you don't make, uh, you're not doing anything weird, you know? They have an ear to the wall to make sure that you're doing right things like a good little Christian boy should. <laughs> the OJ spirit compels me to not wake my parents. I'm actually so hungry, I'm like starting to sweat. I'm looking forward to getting this chicken. Oh hell yeah, I gotta put some money into an investment. By the way, that's where some of my money disappears too. I just dump money in investments sometimes. I'm very happy to be able to make enough money. I'm... I don't know if the word is blessed necessarily, because I do think it was a lot of hard work on my end and also my parents' end, but... I'm very happy that I'm able to live comfortably right now. Jompo, have you ever tried horse meat? I have not. I heard, I heard that over in Japan, they have some pretty good, like, horse sh sashimi. And I wouldn't mind trying that. It's probably pretty tasty. The buffer the animal, the tastier they are. That's the rule. <laughs> I hear those prices and they sound like nothing because where I live it would all be five times more expensive. It all depends. I know over in like, um... Uh, my brother lived in California. Specifically LA for a while. And uh, when he was living over there, he was spending, I think 20... Was it $2,500? a month 
for rent, and it was like a studio apartment. He's fucking insane. I can't believe he tried that. He did end up leaving. He Everything ended up working out at a certain point. But at the same time, like, fuck, dude, I was not going to make that risk. Troll Demon, I actually streamed Piece of Tower my entire playthrough. It's old, so I don't know how interesting it is because I was still basic. In fact, my mic quality was probably pretty bad as well, but... I played through Pizza Tower. I liked it. I remember I had a girl that was an equestrian in high school, and every time she brought it up, I always told her don't talk about my dinner like that, and she hated you. <laughs> uh, the horse girl, huh? <laughs> uh, this is how it goes. Did you play the noise update? I did not. I, I like Pizza Tower, but to be honest, I thought it was good, but I was feeling myself not being a huge fan of it. I wasn't like... I wasn't enamored by Pizza Tower, though I liked a lot about it. Uh, I thought it was good. But it just didn't resonate me uh, with me super well. So it's one of those, I like it, it's good, I really respect it. In all honesty, very few games control as well as Pizza Tower does. But I just couldn't get into it. It was just a personal thing. I know that'll hurt a lot of feelings, a lot of people are super huge into Pizza Tower, but I just couldn't. I couldn't get into it. Just not quite there. <laughs> Troll Demon says, YouTube isn't letting me be me today. I'm sorry, buddy. YouTube is fucked up, isn't it? Man, I hope my chicken gets here soon. I am starving. Basically, I'll be chatting with you guys until my chicken shows up. <laughs> Probably in... 10, 15 minutes? Something like that? I swear to god, fucking Uber Eats. They'll say it's gonna show up in 10 minutes and it shows up in 30 minutes, you know what I mean? I just want chicken. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't been working out as much as I should be. That's been bumming me out. I keep, uh, I've been a bit of, uh, how do I put this? I've been a bit obsessive about looking at numbers on YouTube recently. You know, seeing the, the amount of success that I've gotten recently has been very, very nice and very motivating. But at the same time, it's hard not to refresh the page every hour or so. And then, like, look at it and try to read all the comments and respond to all the comments and all that stuff. It, uh, took up too much of my mind. And I got sick for a while. So, I, I wasn't able to do anything in the gym. And now I miss going and, and lifting weights and stuff. I, <laughs> I want to be buffer. I want to be fucking huge. Huh. Huh. I want to lift weights, but I'm too hungry to do it right now. Shit. Maybe after I eat my chicken, I can do a quick uh, workout sesh. Just something simple to get back into the groove. That's probably smart. A vegan walked into KFC and protested and screamed, Why are you guys eating chicken? They have families! I replied, That's why I ordered the family box. I don't believe you. I don't think you said that at all, Jompo Sumer. I think you're just pretending and lying for the sake of a joke. And no one ever lies for jokes. Only honest jokes are good jokes, you fuck. I have played Your Only Move is Hustle. I am very bad at it. Do you like beat em up games? I've been playing a lot of TMNT Shredder's Revenge lately and absolutely love it. I, um. Uh, I do like some. And I don't like others. I know that basically means nothing. Uh, my favorite beat-em-up games. I would classify this as beat-em-up. Uh, Dynasty Warriors. I was a big fan of that when I was younger. That was a huge deal to me. I thought the whole, like, historical fiction, Three Kingdoms, uh, stuff that was going on with Dynasty Warriors was super cool. And then the hack and slash beat-em-up, turn your brain off and just wail on shit. Uh, combat was a lot of fun as well. But I don't know. I think I haven't played a lot of beat em up games recently. I think, in general, I've been away from that. You know, I'm not gonna keep playing this game, right? So I'm saved and everything. But, uh... I think I'm gonna run into a different area to change up the music, because I'm losing my fucking mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ever played Streets of Rage? Actually? Have I? I think I... I think I did. I think I played Streets of Rage, though I never beat it. Oh yeah, I don't think Kingdom Hearts would count as a, uh, 
beat him up, but... <laughs> Olaf did... <laughs> Olaf didn't dap up Mickey Mouse in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts really makes me sad. I loved Kingdom Hearts, you know? Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 specifically. All the other ones suck ass. The Ruler, you act like I haven't looked up fucking everything on that website. There we go. New music. That's all I wanted. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the best in the series in regards to, I think, combat. I think, um... Uh, well, mostly combat. I think the, the art style peaked in Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. I think a lot of the worlds that you travel to are very interesting, very cool. Uh, and the ability to go back to the worlds a second time is great. And usually had enough value and intrigue and all that to be genuinely very cool. I think the story was also solid. It retconned a bit of stuff, but it was very solid for what it was. But I think I'll always hold a special place in my heart for Kingdom Hearts 1 because I think ignoring everything else. So, Jumpo Sumer, real quick, I didn't look up jo Judy Hops on Rule 34. I looked up Judy Hops on E621. Now that I've corrected you, Kingdom Hearts 1 had, uh, I think, Ignoring the context of the other games that retcon all the shit that you have to try and work your brain into to make everything work out, on its own, the story is legitimately interesting and legitimately good. For real. I think the graphics were great for the time. I think the voice acting and stuff is very uncomfortable in every game. But the story was good. I think the combat is underrated. I do think people say that it's too stiff, but they just don't really get how to move with Sora. Uh, the worlds were interesting, solving puzzles, the RPG elements, all the hidden stuff. I love Kingdom Hearts 1. Kingdom Hearts 2 is great. Kingdom Hearts 1 is great. For different reasons. But I would put them both on their own pedestals and say, if, if someone thinks one's better than the other, that's fine. I think Kingdom Hearts 1 ends up being my guy. It's like my favorite. But I love, I love both of them. I don't mind either one being better. What's your favorite drive form? Personally, I always liked, um, I think Valor form's the coolest, but Master form was the one I had the most fun with. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I'll jump you later. <laughs> Maybe I will say I'll jump you. That is fucking stupid. That's so dumb, I actually like it. I'll jump you later. <laughs> Fuck. Thanks, guys. I'll jump you later. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Look, the ruler, I, I read it the first time. I agree with one thing. I will say this. When people make fan art of a character, regardless of how uh, adult it is, I, I actually very much dislike when somebody take like, unless they change the art style completely, when they draw the character, but they're like, eh, she had small boobs, now she has huge boobs, or... Eh, she didn't have huge hips, now she has gigantic hips. Or, she didn't have a figure eight, uh, figure eight, a, uh, an hourglass figure, now she has an hourglass figure. The, like, changing the proportions, I feel like it's not true to the character. And, and it always just makes me think, like, oh, it's just horny bait, I don't like that, that's lame. Like, whether the, the art itself is supposed to be, like, attractive or not. That's besides the point. When it when it just comes down to the fact that they take the character and adjust them so so heavily, it's like I'm not looking at the same character, you know? I don't like that. It makes me question myself. I see. Jumpy on the flip side. Jumpy on the other side. I'll jump you later. What I like about I'll jump you later out of all those is that <laughs> it's like it's almost a threat, you know what I mean? I'll jump you later. Like, what does that mean? I don't know, but I will. <laughs> the other ones are like, for sure, that's like a see you later kind of a thing, but I'll jump you later? It's a little fucked up. That's a little sussy, you know what I mean? How the fuck did it get pushed back? I fucking hate Uber Eats so much. Oh, I'm gonna put myself in the dirt. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
You know what? I'm not doing highlights of this game. And if I'm gonna wait 30 more minutes, I may as well keep playing, you know what I mean? Goddamn ordering chicken. We can keep chatting and stuff, but I'm making chicken. I'm- 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 I'm not making chicken. I'm- I'm going to go to the underground and see if I can get that last key. Fuck it, fuck you. Let's see, if I go to Sansa Keep, I should be able to get there that away. Jompo, have you tried cooking? Yes, I'm actually pretty good at it. But, cooking is a pain in the ass. And, uh, honestly, I wasn't expecting it to take this long, and now that I've already ordered it... <laughs> I'm not in a position to really, uh, just cancel it and then make food over again. <sighs> just let me up! I can just grab the ledge, I'm stupid. In Flowey's voice. What do you mean in Flowey's voice? He doesn't talk. <laughs> Welcome to the underground! Show us your balls. If you'd like to look around, give us your balls. <laughs> I love that video. It's so fucking dumb. So I want to go north, right, up, right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Ooh. Do you like Bloody Roar? I actually haven't heard of that game. You said it's a fighting game? Bloody Roar, huh? I'm assuming it's a good fighting game, otherwise you wouldn't recommend it. Is it like an anime fighter or its own kind of thing? Like if you could compare it to one other fighting game, would you be able to say what it is? <laughs> I asked that like a fucking essay question. There we go. And I'm in the underground. Or close enough to it. Then underground is actually up here. <clears throat> underground is actually up here. There we go. Wait, is it up? Wait. I'm wrong. I'm wrong! Underground's the other way. I think it's this way, actually. Yeah, there it is. Because it's got plants on it. <laughs> Jumpo, do you have- you have depth perception like a fruit fly. Shut up! You wish I was a fruit fly. It's the only way you could defeat me, Jumpo. And even then you'd have trouble. I'm simply that powerful. I want chicken! Jumpo's chicken! Uh, oh! I exist for chicken! I just want to eat chicken, bro. Ping! Ping! He will simply jump you. Flowey has a canon voice because in the game when he goes, That's a wonderful idea! Mm, that's right, he does have a couple things. He also laughs. So yeah, I guess he does have a canon voice. Although extrapolating off of like three words seems a bit rough. I missed! Bada bing. That one was easy. There we go. Alright. Basically, we just beat the game, fellas. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna do a chit chat stream, but this goddamn chicken tastes too. takes too fucking goddamn long. Well, at least I know exactly where to go at this point. Pretty sure that was every single key I needed. Well, I was kind of hoping falling down would put me back where I wanted to go. Eh, I don't like that. Okay, let's do this. You guess its gameplay reminds you something of Soul Calibur or Vol Virtua Fighter. There weren't many Bloody Roar games, but the one on GameCube was pretty good. Ah, okay. Yeah, I didn't have GameCube growing up. I was, uh, I was always a Sony guy. I always played PlayStation. Although I did have, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and stuff. <laughs> Buy a Dream Mask? I don't think I will. <laughs> a fucking dream mask. Uh, I still don't really get the appeal of dream. People like him. Uh, a lot of people don't like him. Uh, he always just seemed like some guy. Although to be fair, I feel like I seem like some guy. But I guess he did something, right? I know he cheated in Minecraft, but I guess something made him popular specifically. I like Soul Calibur. I think the gameplay in Soul Calibur is pretty fun, but I have some trouble with... Yeah, I, I have a very strong hate kind of feeling towards anything that has a block button. 
because I think it ruins one of my favorite things, which is cross-ups. Mid-air control is very important to me for fighting games, actually. The original Bloody Roar, Roar was on PS1. Ah, I only, my first one was a uh, PS2. I didn't actually have a PlayStation 1. Oh, he also did that with underage girls. Ah, as every YouTuber should. That's just the way things are, you know? Alright, so I need to get back out of here by going down, left, down. Which was this way. <laughs> Parappa. Never played Parappa either. Godzilla the man in the suit incident is fucking terrifying. I actually don't know what you're referring to. Hold on, where am I right now? Wait, where is... I'm going in. Castle Sansa. Okay, this is actually where I wanted to go. I want to go that way, then left, then... Wait, I want to go to... Wait, where do I want to go? Uh, from Castle Sansa, I need to go to... Let's go out left. Up? <laughs> Uh, I'm getting a little lost, but... I want to go to the uh, the courtyard, but I can't really remember where that is because it's been so long since I've been there. <laughs> Average Minecraft YouTuber. True. I don't want to be like them. It's why I don't play Minecraft. So if I go across this, then I think I can make my way to where I want to be. This might end up making, like, the next stream of this game the shortest thing in the world. Eh, whatever. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll have a, a second game prepared just in case. You guys like how I made the same mistake th three times in a row? Pretty cool. I heard that Parappa is really good. But again, I'm not huge into rhythm games. I know it's sort of its own genre, almost, of rhythm games, but just uh, never really that appealing to me. It just can't be the bulk of your content? I don't know, man. I don't know. Am I in the right spot? Oh god, I wish I knew where I was, man. Okay, what if I go up to here, alright? What if I go this way? Is it th I'm pretty sure there's a way. I made a circle! That's not what I wanted at all! Fears to Fathoms? Yes! Actually, I was thinking about playing those, uh... Instead of Omori, because I was getting kind of bored of Omori. I think I'm gonna swap out. I was thinking Fears to Fathom might be a good stream game this weekend. Although I'd have to actually go buy them, but that's no big deal, really. <laughs> Your house flooded? Well, that's not good. You left your kitchen sink on for too long and it flooded your house. That's not good. You gotta get that cleaned up. Man in the suit is about Godzilla suit actor in 1900 who essentially melted while in the suit and his anatomy changed to match the suit and over time he just becomes more and more animal-like. I don't know if that's real. I feel like all of that was believable until all the other words you started saying. Fuck, where am I going? <laughs> Uh... Whoops. I know where I want to be, just not how to get there. All four games are 15 USD? Yeah, that's easy enough for me to buy. 15 is pretty affordable, especially for four games. Hmm. Well... I'll just say this, if I ever melted in a suit, uh, I would probably be very unhappy. You know? Not to say anything too crass or anything, but I'd probably be pretty peeved. I just cut this down already. Oh hell yeah. This is actually where I wanted to go. Sweet. Hell yeah. Now I need to make it back up there. I didn't need to turn around. Goofy, goofy me. There we go. This will actually make it a bit easier. I'm like staging myself for the... <laughs> for the next uh, session of playing. 
Hollow Knight stream. I I got like 75% the way through Hollow Knight and then stepped away for about a month, forgot where I was, and I never played it again. That's one of those things where if you take too much time in between play sessions, you just get lost again. Like this game. Where's the crystal? There's the crystal. Hooray! Ha. <laughs> <sighs> It started to rain and the drain stopped working. That's fucked up. That sucks. Jumpo Sumer, you bastard. I don't want a whole song in my goddamn chat. Dude, I cannot believe I still have... Fuck it. Still got 20 minutes, I guess, on getting my chicken. Alright, I guess I am still going. Fuck it, I guess I'm gonna just beat this dumbass game. All because I wanted chicken. Well... Nothing else to do but go kill everything. What else if there is no chicken? Uh, the way up was... So it wasn't this. You had to go up there. Right, okay. And to do that, there was... What's this? Oh shit, there's a whole outfit thing here. God damn! Hold on, let me... What, what the fuck? Since when, bro? Since when was there an outfit just sitting here waiting for me to collect it? <laughs> I will get my goddamn chicken one day. So it looks to me like they want me to do this? Then maybe go up to the top to make my way around here? And then I can go here. Oh, I fucking missed it. That's goofy. I'm going to go back over here. Uh, okay. I can get this one. I have no fucking plan right now. I don't know what the best way to do any of this is. Hell, I don't even know where all of them are. Alright, alright. And then, uh, I go up here. Just high enough. Uh, apparently there's one under there. That one didn't even fucking guide me. Alright, so there are two more, huh? So one over here, and then a mystery one that's hiding away from everybody. Okay. It went that way. There it is! I can do it! In time! Give me my outfit! Did I... Wait. No! Don't tell me. I actually already did this one before. Did I? I don't remember doing that. Oh no, right. You gotta do this first. There we go. Bleeding heart. Fuck you, I got new clothes. Ah. Purple. And cute. Looks like I'm wearing the flower power one from now on, fellas. <laughs> Dude, I feel you, Vox. I am I'm dying right now. I want I want food so fucking bad. But these bastards. I I fucking hate Uber Eats. DoorDash all the way, boys. Uber Eats does this thing where it's like, we want our people to be able to make as much money as possible. So they only, uh... They, they drop your stuff off uh, in a group with a bunch of other people. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. But why did it add 30 minutes? 30 fucking minutes added on to my delivery? Dude, I ordered my food at like 8.50. And I'm gonna get it at 9.40. It's a 50 minute fucking wait for my food. Don't have to worry about that shit with DoorDash. Not to sound like an advertisement, but god fucking damn! Ugh. I'm so hungry, I'm so hungry. Thigh highs, yes sir! So apparently there's some like key door here that I can unlock. This is like the end of Jack and Daxter. Or maybe the end of Kingdom Hearts 2. Or maybe the end of something else. So either I'm about to win the game, or there's a whole level here. 11 minutes away. Dude, fuck off. That's so lame. Oh, there's a whole other side here. Yeah, whatever. Hooray! She's gonna make something else bleed. God damn! Oh, I missed. I'm in. Distorted memory. Ah, oh, shit! 
If you usually eat at your computer, just shake your keyboard and eat the food that comes out. I probably do got to clean my keyboard soon. Oh, there was a hole. I'm going to be honest, I didn't see this. Set. Try me, boss bitch. I'm going to die! Get fucked. Woo! Woo! Ah, damn! She's got like blades on her. Oh, well, I need a good angle. That's the princess! Stop. Stop with this whole throwing shit at me thing. Stop! Stop! Alright, this music's kind of a bop. I'm happy with this. I missed! Give me my sword back, please! <laughs> this woman's got like a tail or something that's like a blade. Get fucked. Is she deflected? Woo! Alright, where'd my sword go, bitch? There it is. Ow! Alright, cool music. Hit me. I wonder if she's deflecting it. I actually can't tell. It looks like she might be. Oh! I can probably deflect that too. Dumb princess bitch. I will put you in the ground. It's fine! I healed enough! I missed! All right, I like the boss fight though. I'm gonna be honest, this is fun. Some near automata orbs. That's what I like to see. And my sword has gone missing yet again. Ow, you fuck! No health bar, no problem. No problem. This is for not letting me eat my fucking chicken, you princess bitch! I'm healing. She actually flinches too, which is very nice. Wow, yo! Scenic, some cinematic, very cool! I'm fucking hounding her. So you can cancel her attacks by whacking her, huh? Oh, but you actually have to whack her. Yeah, I'm healing off screen. This is radical. Oh, fuck. I broke something. I broke a dinner plate, sorry. I'm, I'm coming up there. Rancid woman teleporting far too many times. There we go. Damn, my movement's fucking slick, though. You can't stop me. Once I kill you, I'm gonna get my chicken. I'll fucking earn my chicken. My delicious chicken. Oh, goddamn, how I want to eat some chicken. I just want my boneless wings. I didn't want to kill you. I just wanted my boneless wings. You could have lived. She, <laughs> she bowed at the end. That's cute. How much health do you have, woman? Uh, oh. Rancid, rancid. Stop, I missed it, fucking flew off. Uh. I'm sure she's, she's on death's door, bro. She's on death's door. Ow, yeah, I'll take that hit. I don't care, I can out heal her. Ding ding! Ugh. Get fucked. Yeah, I definitely hit her. I like how simple the model is for her. She just has, like, a blade on the end of her hair. But for some reason it just works, you know? No reason to get complex when everything simple works just fine. I can hit those back at her too. Okay. 
This is a long ass fight. Oh, I did it. Yeah, yeah. Not really the kind of person you want to hang out with, right? I don't know. I barely remember what she was really like at this point. Oh, sorry. You're probably wondering who I am. Honestly, I don't really know anymore. Nobody special, I guess. But then, that's the whole reason you're here, right? I get it. I can't just hide here forever and pretend I don't exist. I'm sure I'll find something worth being awake for. Maybe I'll finally get into photography. That'd be nice, I think. So thanks, goat, bunny, cat, lady. Sybil? Got it. I'll make sure to write it down as soon as I wake up. I don't want to forget you two. I'm sure you've got someone else to help out, right? So, yeah, thanks. Take care, Sybil. What the fuck does any of that mean? Winner, winner, chicken dinner! And now... The credits. Hooray! Yatta! Well, shit, I guess I will just beat this in two streams. Sure, this turned into a four-hour stream, but fuck it. I guess I'm becoming a guy. Oh, there are no credits. Hold on. You're gonna tell me there's no credits? All right. There you go. There's the credits. <laughs> Vox Flame, it seems it was just all a dream. <laughs> Oh, fuck, where's my food? Please, please. Oh, they're right down the street! Actually, they're right outside. They're right down the street, you fucks. Two minute delivery. Oh, yes. Oh yeah, the music doesn't loop on the <laughs> menu. Sybil, a name I'll be looking up on a certain website later. There's not actually that much. I'm sorry to tell you, V1. Huh. <sighs> well, I'm glad we were able to beat this. Did you get all the outfits? Every one that I found. I don't know which ones I, uh, wouldn't be there. I can always hit continue real quick. I'm back in hell. You can let me know if this is all of them. I got all of these, and then one more. So maybe I found all of them. I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I was one of the 11 people who watched you starve while beating the horny goat game. That's right! That's right! <laughs> uh, and I'm glad you were all here for it. Oh my god, they're- oh, my chicken's right there. Alright, well, I appreciate it, everybody. I guess this is where I actually end the stream. Can't believe it lined up so well in the end. <laughs> Fucking chicken, I wish it was given to me faster. Uh, whatever. Chicken is chicken. I'm gonna watch regular show and eat some chicken. Anyway, fellas. Huh. I'll be streaming on Friday and on Saturday. I might be changing up what games I was planning on playing. I think I'm gonna play some of the horror game that you mentioned. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to scroll back up and remind myself what games they were. I think that'll be fun to play on stream. I'll probably do that on Saturday. Also, I'm thinking about starting my streams on weekends two hours earlier. So not 6 p.m. EST, but 4 p.m. EST. I looked online on YouTube and it said most of you guys are active more close to that time. And so I think it might work out better for everybody. Anyway. Yeah, fears to fathom. Thank you for putting it right there. In fact, I'll do the same thing that I did with that analog horror thing about the egg or whatever. Uh, the, the boiled egg analog horror. Yeah. Fears to fathom. I'll do that so I can just buy it real quick. All right, well, I appreciate your time again. Uh, look forward to more stuff. The last part of my, well, no, I don't gotta bring that up. That's all in the future. Fuck it, whatever. You guys know the drill. You'll be seeing things. Anyway, fellas. <laughs> I guess I'll jump you later. See ya. <laughs>